But the next morning, Zash spent time with the San Lenores trying to remove the curse. Unfortunately, they were able, unable to do so, uh, but swore to stand by Zash in his efforts to get it removed. Zash thanked them and talked with Grey Mane before rushing back to Phandalin. When the others awoke, they heard a commotion outside of the inn. Go, uh, Iluna and Seftis went out to investigate where they met Ashoke Nabum, a companion, trainer, advocate, and salesman. He explained the ideas, the idea of companion ownership and the sport to them. Smith and Iggy spent time casting Identify on the goggles he found and learned that they are goggles of object reading, uh, which I just put LOL because I still find that hilarious. Um, Nylor and Albina were keeping a uh, watch over Zeline. When Zash returned to Phandalin, he rushed past Iluna and Septis to go and find Albina. Uh, Albina then tried casting Remove Curse on Zash, but it also failed, and then she cast Zone of Truth on which did work. Uh, the group then made a deal with Zeline. If they get her equipment, she will create the concoction for Zash, and she agreed to stay at the inn while the others went and retrieved it. Um, at this point, Iluna told the party about her and anime and then mentioned the vendor outside. They then went downstairs to discuss their next steps, where they openly discussed a potential kidnapping, theft, and possible murder. But luckily, Nylor isn't a murder hobo and tried to settle those claims. Um, Smith, Albina, Iluna, and Septis then went outside to talk with Ashoke. Smith ended up buying the Wolpertinger. Iluna, uh, sorry, Iluna bought the Bloom Crawler and got a Snatcher for Piper. Albina caught, or bought the Mimcat, and Septis got a Snatcher for the Clockwork Spider. Mm -hmm. Okay, then said since he made three sales, he would head out of Phandalin and start making his way up to Neverwinter, um, which is pretty much where we just left off. So, um, that is that is sort of where we are, like. Like Ashoke, you know, starting to, you know, pack up and, you know, sort of like looking at the day and saying, man, I wasn't even expecting to make one sale down here, but three, this puts me so far ahead. All right. Well, thank you very much for your business. Um, I, uh, hey, Luna, stops, wants to stop him. Uh, yeah, you see, you see he's, like, he's like starting to put everything away, but yeah. So, tell me more about this Krabbit. Oh, the Krabbit? Um, yeah, they're they're really uh, they're they're a sort of a nuisance creature, and uh, he he picks the one that he has up. Um, you know, tiny little rabbit-like creature with uh, with. Uh, like furry wings and a crow's beak he goes he goes one of the biggest troubles when they were first introduced to the region um back out east they uh will decimate an entire field like crows are an issue and rabbits are an issue think about combining that um they also have this like blood curdling scream that they do um they they make uh, they, they make excellent watch guards. Like if, if you have a well-trained one um, that, you know, you, you put up whenever you're, you know, trying to keep watch over something like they will, they will let out a, a yell that is, uh, you know, ear piercing when you're right next to it. That all sounds terrible. So right now I've got this rat I use for a scout. It seems this would this crabbit be a fit in the small places and be a good scout? I mean, um, the loud noise or the uh, putting them on guard seems helpful. Yeah, like I said, uh, now keep in mind, um, you know, they eat ferociously, uh, so you do have to keep him. Uh, you do have to keep him well fed. And uh, this one, um, and he, he, he points over to the wolf, uh, the Wolpertinger. He says, that little guy, clever as can be. Um, he, he points over to the Mimcat that Albina has and says, that guy, he, he says, uh, that one, 
super proud, like really, really into himself. Uh, this little guy, and he points down to the crab, it's grumpy as shit. He's like, he will just scream when he is when he is hungry. Uh, so don't necessarily know how much of how much of a great scout he is, uh, because he will just scream when he wants to if he's not happy. Uh, so if you are if you are wanting to make him a scout, like if, if you are wanting to get a crabbit and and you know train one of them to be a scout, I would definitely say uh, get one. Uh, get one with a, and he like, sort of puts his hands over the, uh, over the crabbit's uh, ears, and he says, "Make sure you get one who who has a better personality, like one who is maybe like brave, uh, one who maybe relaxed, something like that, you know." different and he he sort of looks at all of uh, all the companions he says that's one of the big things about about you know companions he says you know different mim cats or different you know have different personalities different crabbits have personalities he's and he points to the wolfer tinger uh he says that little guy he's super curious he loves to he loves to figure things out he 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 would make a better scout than uh than the crabbit at least in my opinion um but you know they're they're like really connected to you know to magic and the Feywild. Um, he's like he's like that Wolver take could probably make a better scout than anything. Um, the 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 Crabbit, you might be able to train him. It just might be a little. You might just have to you know spend a little extra time with them uh, in order to get him to not scream when he's hungry. <laughs> and as he's explaining this, he starts like going through the bags and he grabs the one that has the little tag that looks like the crabbit's head and the crabbit looks over and just lets out this ear shattering uh like whistle cry uh to the point that you are having to like especially iluna and smith the two elves are like having to cover your ears um am i nearby you put in you're in yeah, you're inside. Like you're you're just inside the inn, so you you hear this. Like it sounds, it basically sounds like a siren going off. That's yeah. horrible. Can you put him away? He says, "Oh yeah, yeah." And uh, he pulls out the snatcher, and he presses in the the metal sigil on the front. You see the the crab. It turns into a beam of light and goes in there, and he puts the snatcher right on his hip. He says, yeah. You didn't say return. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I said you didn't say return. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't gotta say return. You ain't say return. I know the I know, I know how snatchers work, boy. No, it's a Pokemon joke. Because oh. in the show, they always say return. Oh. So. <laughs> All I can ever think of when um, I think of Pokemon is, uh, is, is the one picture that I drew a while back where it was Pikachu used crack. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta full size this. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the only thing that ever comes to my mind nowadays because of, uh, when it comes to Pokemon. Uh, but yeah. So he, he, he puts it back on his side and he goes back to uh, continuing to sort of pack up. Do you have any more information about these? Like, you said they're used for pets or breeding. This pamphlet's about the uh, arena. Oh, yeah, the battle! Um, no, I don't uh, I don't have too much information. I, I, I'm not I, I'm, the, I'm the salesperson. Uh, I'm I'm the one who is the uh, the primary sponsor for the CDL, the Companion Dueling League. Um, what to get into breeding? I mean, raising them as pets is just like treat them like you would any other pet. I mean, they're just animals. Um, you know, some of them are a little bit smarter than others. You know, some of them. I mean, there there's all kinds of there's all kinds of CDL legal. Uh, creatures out there you know there's 
There's things that are, you know, like dragons. There's things that are from, that seem like they're from the heavens and ones that are literally like ghosts. So there's all kinds of stuff out there. He says, in fact, on the back of that pamphlet, um, it, it actually has the, the three runners up from the most recent trios championships. So there, like, like there's uh, the number one champion, Red. He's, uh, he's, got, he's got all dragon, like all draconic creatures. Um, but yeah, fascinating. But uh, yeah, so if, in this if, case, you detail anything about these creatures, or she has to ask. You would have to ask. He he's just sort of pointing it out. Okay. Uh, but he he does say. But if you want to get into raising them and breeding them, uh, my. He's, a, he's like, my partner that I'm going to be meeting up in Neverwinter, Brown, he's he's the breeder. He he knows, you know, he can tell a, he can tell a creature's personality, you know, almost instantly. He knows what to feed them, you know, what exactly each one of them requires. He's brilliant on this. He's been, he's been studying these creatures for years. He knows exactly what to do. So if you ever want to talk to him, I mean, he's, he's meeting me up in Neverwinter. We're, we're both sort of, you know, Pincering our way over, trying to trying to drum up some excitement over this. Okay. And you you don't have any details about these particular creatures. Uh I mean, which one? Well, the dragons seem intriguing. I, I all all of them really, but oh yeah, I mean Red's Red's whole team, uh, all stars. I mean, you you go out east. You go out to some of some. You go out east. There's like stuffed animals of these of these guys bouncing around. You know, every every other stand in a market. Um, Sriracha. He's he's a basan. Uh, they're you know these like little fire breathing dragons. Uh, they they sort of look like roosters. Um, there's the uh, Lurney, the Hydrapuck. A little, you know, like like hydras. Yeah, there, there's thing. You know, you cut their head off, two more grow. It's just a little version of that, basically. They're just, you know, sort of dwarf versions of that. And then uh, his Pekanute is just a druck, uh, a little, little like thunder lizard. Uh, there, I mean, those those things are those things are like scattered throughout the world. I mean, the Basan, th those are kind of hard to come by. Uh, the hydra puck, those are those are pretty hard to come by. But drucks, depending on where you look, you know, in the right areas. They like wet environments. They like mountainous environments, like caves, like damp areas. Also places that have a lot of like, you know, electric energy going on. You know, there, there. if there's areas where there's like thunder and lightning, you know, uh, like damp conditions, a lot of times you, you, you can actually find a druck pretty easy. Mm. She'd probably ask about the elemental ones because they they're above elements. But oh, Ronald, yeah, he's uh, he's 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 sort of he's sort of a specialist. He he prefers the uh, the elemental constructs. In fact, he he claims that they're more you know they're they're more like you know drawn out of magic um there's not i don't have too much about him uh you know those those little guys they're they're definitely oddballs if you ask me they uh you know they're they're a lot harder to come by just areas uh you know they they sort of just appear in some cases these three in the middle they seem kind of scary oh argent yeah intense. the obscurest uh they're all dark creatures um the wormlet tiny it, it's he's like they can they can start as these tiny little worms grow six feet long if you feed them too much uh duno his little cerbus um and and that his his moon doppler yeah 
that that hey, Gengar. Hey. Straight I forgot to tell you. Straight up from uh, from the dark realms of, of the heavens. Like, too. it's it's a monstrosity. Uh, where he, from where raid? he acquired them, no, okay, he has like never so. he has never oh. sponged on it. No, so unfortunately, I know nothing powers. about uh, where you would find anything. Out of eight bosses, like, I got four pieces of gear, uh, that, two that legendary Doppler, powers, and two condors. Uh, that that huh. Gengar he has. You just said four pieces of gear. Terrifying monster. I'm pretty sure. The legendary powers are hundred percent. They are. Rate, they are. I don't count that. Okay. And two conduits. Thanks for talking. Man. One conduit I'm definitely that I curious use, about all the fuck creatures that, that I've never seen. You had to have one eighty-five item level. I can't imagine how many relics. more than. If I would have got one piece like in the said, eight bosses, I would be able to go to the relics. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's, if I said, there's hey, a I'm big trade out east. I mean, there, there's out here in the west. There's not really a market for them. That's why most people. So are you guys like doing starting with heroic next week? These creatures. Let alone seen them, um, because there's not really a market out here for them. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the CDL out here. We're trying to get people excited about it. We're facing our own problems because a lot of people look at this sport and they uh, Shadow Priest too. Shadow Priest best in slot. Like the the top two come from that raid. I don't know. Just come from bosses in the raid. All the other ones we could probably do on heroic. And to find yeah. a companion, yeah. like, like the first five, too. I want, I want to raid. It's just like I don't want to raid by oh, myself. Sure. I can understand that. I mean, I mean, there's, there's fun, people man. out there. They, the you know, fight, like they, uh, they get the they, they, the portals. Hold on, wait. Like, I need to make sure you're off like, webcam. Own, you are. Okay. Like with their own pet, Dude, they, you know, are considered legal in regards to. I don't know what you're talking. about. Like I, I haven't looked up any of the fights. You know, he's he's and he it's sort of gestures to pamphlet. He's like, these are examples of more obscure drops creatures. They're more like a portal. Like they, you hit it they're and more the tournament portal. style. And like, three phases like each, you don't each often phase find the these portal, just being the raised out there. Like one phase, you have like, especially that guys that walk at you it's and they like you you don't just raise those things. You are getting those things oftentimes with the intention. Put one on one side of the room and one all the way on the other side of the room. Three we chose to take with us rather obscure. Back, and once they get close, you step back in and go back to where you're going. The Mimcat, the Mimics, the Mimics are all phase. across this world. This one just, this one just oh, so, feels oh, so second phase that is it's more like when a normal. There's only four seeds um, on a row, which is eight. It's Kravitz, and the wolf. North, Kravitz are west, east, and south. Kravitz are practically you banned have to, in like most bomb, grassland areas. You have to take them and then go into portal because of, and then because they're an invasive. Take whatever side we're going to be tanking. Um, that bloom crawler, on the left side, yeah, so he's uh, take that he's, bomb. He's a pretty chill fellow. North and um, south bomb, and then we had to take the portal he's, he's all the way like, to the right he's, side where the other. You know, just really relaxed. We, we sort of, you know, off, met while we were out exploring an area and, and you know, spent some time yeah. learning about yeah, him. And two. Yeah, eventually, three. he just sort of followed us back. Sword and, uh, in the middle you know, of the room that has we've been holding heavy, on to heavy, that, heavy but suction that wolf that you. I mean, a sword? Are it's a big huge sword that comes out of the room and it, like, sucks you. But they are hard suck. They're definitely worth the money with them. They're how bad it is. Like, like so what the strategy is to put the portal they right at the are, edge of it, pelts and then the other one are, are the other side of the room, prized. so you just oh. keep uh, running hunters. so you're not going back or forward, and at the last second, so you let it take you back. I mean, their ability the portal, to hide, their ability to, you, you're you know, to dip in and out yeah, that's, that's of, uh, of places is crazy. They can crazy burrow underground. Sure they can see. fly. They a, they can zip around. It, they're they're, they're quick as can be. There's a clip out there. It's probably the best clip of the raid for a while. The, the uh, other thing to keep in mind, was, he looks but, uh, over at you, Smith. He says, the um, tank he says, kept getting sucked just in be aware that, uh, right back that, into the that, portal that and it sucked him right back in and then he did it again. Like, uh, like, an, an infatuation with women. <laughs> uh, they're all sort of their own little studs in their own Mythic? I don't think Mythic's out yet. No, it was on testing, I think. Oh. Because there's traps. Are you talking too, like and, which we didn't have any to women or just or women? Wolpertingers? Oh no, humanoids. <laughs> <out. laughs> <It's, it's, it's, laughs> like, and uh, and when he, when like he says this, you, you sort of trap look over at him, spot, and you can see that he's screaming. like, like this little this little guy uh, that's um, sort of fluttering around yeah, you. Do you have plans tomorrow? Like like light. But like, uh, sort of like tomorrow night, we're gonna be doing chest, like probably like, five mythic pluses. You, know, preening, preening you wanna come? On his back. Okay. Looks like I'm still definitely. Like I'm sure. 
Yeah, he's a loyal companion. He's a loyal companion. Yeah, see, we're, we're aiming for three. He's like, seeing as you seem like the, the scholarly type. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I imagine the two of you will get along swimmingly. He's, he's very curious. What? He loves to investigate. I'll learn things. Uh, he's super what are you talking about? Yeah. No, you get, a, you get the choice of, yeah. You get, Sorry, yeah. I don't know what happened. So, so like, I guess it's to combat people, f like, in BFA they being like, oh, I did, like, a Mythic 20, and I'm like, oh, shit, like, th this piece is garbage. Uh, what exactly, what, what would you be curious to know? It takes your... Top Out again, four, uh, I see and then your you've got, like, sharing is caring. Is, what you'll get your is that stuff I can just use? So, right now, even though I did, so like, yes. a three and a four, uh, basically, I would only get a mythic two piece of gear. Um, oh, your, that's weird. You have a specific so, I'd have to do, like, so, uh, at least the way that four, that works like, is of whatever I want. If I want a five, I have to do at least four plus five to get a plus five. Bonding you know with the creature. Really? That's really stupid. I don't like that. Beating them, um, you know, like... Giving them stuff, yeah, um, even, and then based on the level of the bond, which the deep retainer starts out in a bond level of eight, I'm so happy to not have to use you get tar trap. <laughs> with that. So the, on the lookout, while within five feet, you can replace your own wisdom modifier with theirs for perception checks. Riley? Yeah, sharing is caring. Every six days, they can help you find, every one of these six days, they can help you find Come in. Like that and be better for themselves and another creature. Yeah. Um, now, considering Iluna is a ranger and has the ability to find double the amount of food and water for you guys, I've never called into question her not doing that. So that one would would be more situational. Hopefully under the yeah, but Iluna is getting a food whenever it's necessary. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, basically, the other thing is the interesting alliance. While within 10 feet, you gain a plus one uh, bonus to persuasion checks made against chaotic good creatures because that's what the Wolpertinger is. Where is he reading any of this stuff? Uh, if you go to your, if you go to your companion, scroll down on their stat block, and underneath it'll say bond points, personality, and diet. So, for example, Albina's Mimcat um, is proud, which means it has a plus two to performance checks, and its carrying capacity is reduced by ten because it does not carry its own shit. Um, oh, 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 oh. In our individual one. Yes. Not... yes. In your character sheet. Uh, the character. Bloom Crawler is relaxed, which means it has advantage on saving throws against being frightened. Um, the Clockwork Spider is brave which means he has advantage on saves against being frightened but disadvantage on dexterity saving throws because he stands his ground and the wolpertinger is clever which means he has disadvantage on constitution saving throws but i have already included all the other things the wolpertinger got a plus one to perception as well as an increase to intelligence so that's already included in there uh -huh. um um I'll say one other Generally, thing. What? Okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, I was just going to ask the guy uh, to refresh me one more time on uh, the Snatcher Balls. He's got oh, yeah. them for sale, right? Uh, yeah, he, uh, he, he does. Now, I will let you know, um, so since you have one for the Wolpertinger already... Um, the rule that I was using for this uh, for this right now is unless you are one of those four subclasses, you could only have one companion. Oh, okay. So, uh, but he he does explain that basically, you know, if if you want to re if if you want to keep the little guy safe, you can just press the button on there, recall them back. They'll be safe in there. Time sort of stops for them. That's how they were developed, um, and then. Eventually, when you recall them, they're just back to the way they were. Um, if something ever happens to the little guy, the snatcher still works. You can actually use it to try and catch another companion, uh, or you can bind another companion to it. Like if you, you know, you buy one, you know, you you oftentimes they have their own. You can sort of trade them. 
Um, but another nice feature is that if the little guy gets hurt, if something happens, you know, unforeseen incidents happen, um, and it is bound to a snatcher, it will automatically be recalled, um, and will, the, the snatcher will try and automatically recall him and save him. Unfortunately, though, sometimes the damage is just a little too much. Um, I mean, that's, you, you mean, keeping them safe, that's, that's definitely a, a priority, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people who are in the CDL, they don't even bring out their companions until they're in like a training scenario, or they're, you know, somewhere safe or in the arena. I mean, other people are more, you know, they, they have them as a traveling companion, so they're out a lot more, and they just sort of take that risk. So, it's a it's a risk reward kind of thing. Okay, um, how do we maintain a bond? Or are they already bonded to us because we have their snatcher? How does this work? Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. So uh, you, right now, you should already, they, they will respond to you. Um, you know, some of them are a little more affectionate. You know, the Wolpertinger, he's, uh, he's pretty affectionate just right off the bat. Um, the uh, the Bloomcrawler there, not, not as much. Um, you know, and the Mimcat, he's, he's a little... He's a little snotty, uh, a little snooty, so uh, you know have to have to work a little bit more with him. Uh, but you know, basically, with the snatchers, they already have a, a bit of a bond with you guys because they recognize you now, uh, you know, as their as their masters, uh, you know, as their partners. So you know, with with that, you already have a little bit of a bond. But definitely spending time with them, you know, giving them their you know treats and gifts. You know, playing with them, just sitting down, trying to really get understand with them, and keep in mind, um, you know, building a bond doesn't even have to just be that. Also, going to sport, some companions really like to battle. He's like that Wolpertinger. He's he's energetic. He he loves to bounce around. So you know, training him in agility and stuff like that, that's definitely something that could help you build a bond. Um, you know that that Bloom Crawler there. He's very, he's much more passive, you know, like spending time with him and just relaxing with him. You know, that's, that's definitely something that will, uh, that will help build his confidence that, you know, you're, you're wanting to sort of see things his way. And he looks over at Septus, uh, at the clockwork spider. He says, I can already tell that guy. He's, I mean, I can see the dwarven runes on him. I imagine he defensive, you know, a defensive sentry more than likely he would probably he would probably like battle as well you know putting him up against something that about his size about his speed you know and letting him sort of have a go at him and in, in a controlled environment would probably let him you know fulfill some of those desires he was built for um out of game all of our um little pets they aren't bonded at their minimum bond level yet. We still have to, because no, they are. You talked to me about that. I, they are. Yeah, because if you look, they're all if you look in your. If you look at your individual character sheet, you will see that underneath them it says the bond point, which they're already set to what they are. So the Mimcat is three, Piper and the Bloom Crawler are both four, the Spider is ten. Um. And Bottom. the Wolpertinger is eight. So you're okay. already bonded up to what the starting bond is. Where do we see that? Out of character? Uh, so go to your go to extras and you'll see that you have a you have a thing in there that is the Mimcat. Oh, there he is. And when you scroll down underneath, you'll see that it says bond point, personality, and diet. And it gotcha. skips over the whole book. Um, handle hand, and oh my god, animal handling checks and all that. They just right, because you're you're literally paint. buying them. Yeah, like, yeah, you're 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 buying them. I mean, it's it's almost like in po we like bought, it's, it's bought or traded any other future ones. They come with a minimum bond rating too. Basically, that that's the way that I'm working it. Is like like in Pokemon, okay. if you want to catch something, you have to battle it and catch it. And that's essentially creating that bond. But if you trade a Pokemon, they instantly respond to you as long as you have the correct gym badges. Mm. I can't mm -hmm. change his name on here to, to Rafa. 
You can. You can hit customize and you can change uh -huh. the name. There it is. And out of game, the whole plus four extra bond points for keeping them in the little thing. Is that something we're going to roll for? Uh, yeah, I mean, that'll be that'll be something that I will probably roll for you guys after the fact, just so that we're not. Uh, well, actually, no, we, we can do yeah. that right now. Um, so really quickly, everyone, um, so yeah, everyone, but Tony and JJ roll 2d6 or no 2d10. What is this d10 for? Uh, so what this is, is if a creature has been inside the ball for a cumulative of 2d10 days after its initial capture, it gains a plus four bond strength. So basically, you know, the collective of that amount of time, uh, it'll just automatically gain two D four bond. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, it'll gain, it'll gain plus four bond. Okay. Yeah. So I have so many days. Ha. Okay. Yeah. So for example, uh, Stacy, I'm gonna put that in there under One note. Roll it down. Um, <laughs> oh, I only got nine. Four and so, five. So 13 days for the bloom crawler. Albina is nine. Theftis, the clockwork spider, is 11. And Smith? Nine. Nine? All right. So basically what that means is after that many days in game and I do have the uh, the fantasy calendar up so I'm going to add those days mm. to that it's more specifically though the amount of hours because if we right. have yeah, if we it's... see our companions wandering around with spouse right right so that's <laughs> that's sort of the whole thing like I'm I'm going to put on here that like this is sort of the starting day um, but basically, if your companion is out of its snatcher, it is not actively working towards that, you know, 13, 11, or 9. Um, while it's in there, it is. So if you keep him in there, you know, o over time, that j eventually just forms a more solid bond. Do they like to be in that? Something where our characters are learning from. Yeah. Yes, I, I will say Ashoke is telling you this as he's packing up. Um, like, and better bonds. Uh, well, um, he, he, he sort of explains that they like the security of it, that for them, time just sort of, you know, they don't age, they don't, you know, get hungry while they're in there. Time just sort of stops for them, but they feel safe and secure. Okay. But you can increase their bond while they're out of it, too, right? Absolutely. You can increase their bond far, yeah. uh, far more while outside of it. It's just in the orb. It's something that is just innate after so long. It's like a one time yeah. freebie, basically. If you, okay. yeah, once you get the amount of hours that you rolled or days, whatever, you'll get plus four. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but I rolled so many. So, did we decide, are we going to go get the kit? Yeah, that is, uh, that is, I was just about to bring up the same thing. So, uh, Ashoke packs everything up and, uh, he, he bids you all farewell and wishes you the best at, uh, at letting your companions have a, a good and prosperous life. And we'll say... At this point, you all head inside to uh, to meet up with Zash and Nylor to figure out what your next step is. I'm putting my creatures in their orbs. Just okay. Yeah, Rap is the same. I was just hanging out with me on the shoulder. Okay, you're never going to get your plus four then. I don't, care. <laughs> I don't want my baby to be overwhelmed. Okay. Okay, so so, uh, so just a little coming. out of character comment. Tony, I think it was the last week, had a really good idea where he suggested we leave Iggy behind with Zeline to kind of make sure she doesn't try to skip out and shit. 
while oh, we okay. go and collect your stuff, if that sounds good with everybody else. I only heard leave Iggy behind. I was so mm-hmm. upset. <clears throat> yeah. I thought you were abandoning him, what you meant. <laughs> no, just having him play guard duty. Is he going to be okay? Is he going to be safe? I think so. Iggy's pretty strong, so... Plus, you got like... She was in the zone of truth when she said that, so I don't think she's going to try anything. Okay. Hmm. People change, though, you know? Uh, Lucas? Question about Piper, since she's been moved from one style of creature to another. Yeah. Does this whole bond thing work with her? Yep, you already, you'll notice that I already have her set up on there as well. No, she's on there, but like, the whole plus four thing? Or are we just not? You, you got a snatcher for her, so she would work the same way. Also 13 days, or do I roll it again? Uh, you would roll separately for her. I'll do that real quick. We can okay. roll. Yep. Yeah, so... So everybody, so so what are you, yeah you guys you guys at this point are discussing your plans uh so so you're you're intending on leaving Iggy behind to keep an eye over Zelina yeah well okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> no I was just gonna say I was just asking if everybody likes that idea or no do they just want to have Iggy come with us I, mean, I, I, I like personally like, like the idea. Work in battle, so it depends on that, I suppose. Depends on what in battle? Well, he's an extra little bonus for in battle, in combat. If we think we're going to end up being in combat, but I then mean, like, we definitely are going like, to like. But then the alternative, <laughs> the alternative yeah. is we come back and she's not there anymore. Yeah. In Zone of Truth, she did say she would not... No, she didn't say she would not try to escape. I wanted to ask that. It's never mind. It is also her truth. Like, exactly. Right, and, like, people, people change. I, like, I don't one, mind leaving. Like, when we're gone, you know, she could change her mind and just dip. Yeah. She so it, She's like, it was the truth when I told you, but I'm not so sure now. And If, right. if Iggy's yeah. okay with it, I think he should stay in guard duty. Uh, I mean, that is that is a hundred percent up to Zash because Zash is the one who sort of has command over. Yeah, like I'm down to leave Sorry. Iggy as a bodyguard. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, you is he? He's probably there with us, right? Yeah, absolutely, he is. All right. Uh, hey, Iggy, buddy, what's up? Hey, what's going on? So, you know how we're about to set off to go get this chick's equipment he goes oh yeah uh and he you know you, you see that he has his gear ready and uh he was, he, he's sort of like gesturing over to smith he's like he's like he he was showing me some uh some new spells like he's he said that he'd be willing to show me some stuff while we were out and about uh gonna gonna learn all kinds of new stuff to be to be more of a help to the group absolutely <laughs> <laughs> so, since you're not a real person, um, <laughs> we're gonna have you stay behind and guard Zeline because you know it's super important. Really don't want her to take off, and honestly, I can't trust anybody except an NPC to do this job. <laughs> <laughs> so, an NPC. so, so you just you you just want me to hang out here and. Uh... Just, just keep an eye over. Her. Yeah. Just, just to make sure she no, doesn't do anything. Like, you, you saw how yeah. she could like turn into a rat and run away. Just be on your guard. Like, like this is the most important job of anyone in the group has right now. Who knows? They might fall in love. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> um, she's not a good Don't. person. <laughs> We're gonna cut that off right there. Um, that was his fear. His one fear of never. I mean, if it's hey, if it's what if it's what you think I'm best suited oh. for, I, well, I mean, I wanna I wanna do I wanna do right by you. The thing is, is you know, if we go get this stuff and she leaves, you know, I, 
I'm SOL. So, I need to make sure she stays put, and... Honestly, I think I trust you to do that job more than anybody else here, so... Well, then I'll do it. I'll do it for you. High five. <laughs> and he high fives you. Alright, well, that's all set. You guys ready to go? And before Lucas Sagama comes and recruits him for his <laughs> dragon goblin army. <laughs> oh, believe me, I have my plans. <laughs> oh boy. Lucas has been scheming in the background. <laughs> okay, but yeah. We, we ready to head off? Mm -hmm. I think yep. she showed us where her place was yep. on the map, right? Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm going to pull that up here for you. So basically, the location of this temple... Um, let's see here... Nope, that's the map of Fanyan, and the map of the Spirit Coast. Yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add it to it later, whenever mm. I can actually edit the file. Um, but it is right there, uh, underneath where it says Butterskull Ranch and Conaberry. Didn't we have something else to do there? Right there? Yes. There's a yep. couple of things up there. Butterskull Ranch. Orcs have attacked Butterskull Ranch four times. Okay, well, maybe you know, we can... God, I can't remember the detail for that one. Yeah, some uh, dude's Berry... ranch got attacked, and... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Conaberry have a quest. It's it's an old abandoned town. We don't have a lot of luck in old abandoned towns. No, <laughs> side from what is called ranch, it, like, had its own little tidbit. As long as there's no windmills. <laughs> yeah, no okay. more windmills. Okay, so we're heading off. It's gonna take us a very long time. Yeah. So that yep. is that is the thing. Um, let me see here. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. So, are you taking the road, or are you risking going through more of like the forest wilderness area? I think we should just take the trail. Yeah, I think the road will Try be the trail. will be the safest. How Hopefully. Are you? Yeah, the, the the road seems. Yeah, I would say, I would say take the. Doesn't seem trail. any faster to go through the mountain. Yeah. So it's it's gonna take it's uh for the whole group it's gonna take about two and a half days to get there. Oh, that's the longest we have um, together. We have time skips. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Basically, we will have a bit of a time skip here. Um, I would like to save right before we get there, just in case. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> um, I actually don't know. Can if I, I have... say I, I do know the book of your herbs? I mean, they're not as prominent, but two days of walking around, I'm not going to skip the opportunity. Sure. Yeah, you can. Uh, we'll say. Uh, so, so. Mm, shit, that's that's a fair amount of them. Um, well, so we'll 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 go day by day. Um, so I just need to see some. Yeah. So, um, along the main road. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. Good. Just if it's gonna take us two days. Would we have paid ahead or something to keep this rat woman in the inn and fed? And, you, you guys know, have a so tab. She doesn't leave. You guys have a weekly tab okay. running that he will that he will charge you guys on uh, on the tenth day. So uh, basically, you have another three days before uh, before you need to pay him. And that basically, when when that point hits. You're basically paying for all of your stuff. So I'm not doing it like day by day. He, like as long as you guys are yeah. there and you're helping out the town, he's basically just charging you guys at the end of the week. Oh yeah, we can we can square that away when we get back. So are you saying we do need to pay that before we leave? Because it's gonna be like no. five days before we no. get back, no. right? 
it's yeah you guys you guys could pay it whenever you whenever you come back he understood uh i mean if you tell him like i mean i don't know who you're telling if you guys are telling anybody that you're leaving town and where you're going i i imagine like on the way out we would say like, should we go tell harbin butter skull ranch she should be here for like four or five five days so mm -hmm. Yeah, I, well, maybe we should go tell Harbin. Well, I thought, um, I thought we already did all of that with the you, inn. Well, I, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that uh, that Tolbin might, you know, might know what's going on because you guys were discussing all of this there. <laughs> um, but I, I like going with what Tony's saying. You told Harbin mm -hmm. when you got back, you know, sort of what you were dealing with. Uh, but, like, nothing really beyond that. Okay. Um, can we just retcon it real quick and say that, like, you know, Zash went up and talked to him. And oh, yeah, I mean, it's not retcon. Right you guys, you guys oh, have oh, we haven't left. Alright, then I'll go up to him. Okay. Hey, so, bud, so we're about to... We're about to head out to Butterskull Ranch. We're gonna leave that lady we were talking about here behind until we get back and Iggy is going to stay here with her. Oh, and okay, cool. Yeah, can we just can we pay up when we get back? Is that all right or do you want us to pay now? Are you talking to Tolbin or are you talking to To Tolbin? Yeah. Tolbin? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I thought you were talking to Harbin. Uh he goes he goes, "Oh yeah, that ain't no problem." He's like, "If you guys are back here on uh on the, on the first day on the on the 21st, then uh you know, or whenever you come back, I I know you're good for it. You guys you ain't got nothing to worry about." And, you know, I totally know what date it is today, but could you just... I want to make sure you know. <laughs> well, it's the 17th, and he points, to the, oh. he points to the calendar that's up on the wall. Yes, of course. Um, we might run a day or two late, but oh, that's fine. Like definitely... I, said, I know you guys are good for it. Yeah. And, you know, if we don't come back, just send a party up there, and you can have all of our gold. Well, that's I'll on keep our that dead in mind. So. don't come to that. <laughs> All right. Should we go tell Harbin? Uh, do we need to? I mean, this we're not accepting a quest for Harbin or anything. I mean, the butter, personal the thing butter skull that. ranch is a quest for Harbin. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's the the orcs attack the town. It's, oh, okay. It's one of the first one you guys got. <laughs> <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> That's why I'm sure the cone berries something on its own that I can't quite remember. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to take it upon myself. Yeah, we'll go tell Harbin that we're leaving, but we're going, right. and that we'll be back in a week or so. Do you do you knock on his door? Yes, I would, because I don't just barge in, yes. Yeah, uh, you see, friendship, see a little... Tony. A, a new, a, a new, like, like, little people. He goes, what? New people. This is Nylor's first time talking to him. It is. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> um, hey, I was told to come talk to you because you're, like, the, the town's master. We're heading up to Butterskull Ranch. We'll be back in, like, a week or so. Oh, you're going to check up on, uh, on, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, my voice. Damn it, Goku! <laughs> oh, cool! You're going to check up on uh, on Big Al. Um, sure. All right. Well, hey, if uh, if everything's good up there, you know, there's some. Uh, <clears throat> I know I gave one of you guys the the job description for that, so we do still have that. Uh, you know, it's a hundred gold if if uh, you know, letting us know what's going on. So there is some there is some reward in that. Okay. I found my notes. Um. Okay. About Kona Berry. I give him a thumbs up and I walk out. Say. And then I meet back with everyone. Do we have any way to communicate with Iggy from far away? I just look at the spellcasters. Do you guys have message? Smith? I have a message, but I don't think you can message from that far away. No, message, yeah, message definitely doesn't work that far. Um, 
If only we had setting stones. 120 feet. Well, who had those? Vanadar. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that he had those. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Pick up Vanadar and away. Might be uh, might might be something to address on a now that now that this situation's come up, it might be something to address later of uh, Iluna or Zaf remembering that Vanadar had the sending stones. Oh, sending stones. Oh. Yeah, it's up to you, you guys. Them <laughs> what was wrong with us? You guys technically, he has a lot of equipment on him that you guys never got. <laughs> we need to go visit him. And get our stuff. Yeah, that was party equipment. <laughs> we needed you to return it, yeah, and there's a wasn't... rental fee. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> are we leaving? We're going. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Maybe yes. we can yeah. use like somebody's pet that they just bought to send a message back to Iggy. Run two and a half days back to town. <laughs> 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 Listen, my cat, my my Rafa is not going anywhere. I already know his character is very lazy, and that's okay with me. Can we but, like rent some horses, make the trip faster? But your wolf, your wolf might, your wolf retainer might like to run off. He's energetic. What is there? I was wondering if we could get some horses in like a carriage. I don't. Didn't we ask about horses before? That was something that was inquired. Um, there, the only place that there's really horses around here um, was Barthin's Provisions had like two of them with a carriage, uh, but that carriage is currently taking a Dabra to Neverwinter. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. On the road again. No, I found my boots very. Oh, when all of that stuff's to... in the one note. Under the quest section. Yeah. Yep. yep. Orcs have attacked Butterskull Ranch oh. five miles east of Coneberry. No, it's the ranger named Silvar Eldracon, who was last known to be near there. Oh. I've learned about him from the name. These were my notes. Gotcha. I sort of forgot that I'd talked about him. Is she under the character yeah. section? It was important to Iluna. She was looking for ranger, rangers to talk to for mm -hmm. some... I think... I think, for some reason. I don't remember. I'm, I'm, I think he might be somewhere in some of the notes. Um, yeah. Okay, so... I am going to. Oh, we, he, we were tracking him because he had seen people frozen, and he was heading north towards Canterbury. Mm. Okay, just to learn about the dragon a bit more. Yeah, okay. that's why we were going to talk to him was to learn more about the dragon. Nice wig, Hannah. It's very red. I'll be in the chair. I couldn't hear. Thank okay. You. Thank you. All right. Give me one second. Do, 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 do. While we're on the trails, Ash will carry the karaoke machine while others perform. <laughs> on the road again. <laughs> oh man, that just made Shrek come in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what scene that's in with Shrek, but I'm sure that song's in there somewhere. Yeah, Shrek. I think Donkey says that. Donkey, yeah. <laughs> and in the morning, I'm making waffles. Why <laughs> <laughs> wait for the morning to make waffles, though? That's what I ask. 
You don't have to. <laughs> it's like the best part about being an adult. <laughs> I saw a meme on Facebook saying the next part of your life starts when you realize as an adult, hey, there doesn't need to be a celebration to have cake. <laughs> I could just I could just go to a bakery and buy a birthday cake for nobody's birthday. That's true. For yourself. Yeah. Happy unbirthday to you. What are you celebrating today? Waking up. <laughs> Give me my cake. Tuesday. I'm <laughs> celebrating Tuesday. <laughs> it's not Monday anymore. I made it. <laughs> Steve's a walk. I like seeing you in there. Oh, look, little Steve. <laughs> look kind of creepy. Like creepy <laughs> Steve. Stacy, don't move quickly, but there's somebody. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so, like, what do we want the marching order to be? Uh, I mean, we're on the, we're on, like, an open trail. We need a I thought we'd just kind of hang together, maybe put back anime up the hood for Scout in case she sees something horrifying. Yeah, anime flying above. Sounds Keep like ears open idea. for dragons flying around because yeah. last time we didn't pay fuck attention. And we lost all our new friends. Not all of them. All but two. Uh, almost all of them. Remember that one time? And we didn't lose our... Actually, I shouldn't say anything, because I don't know if everybody's watched all of Game of Thrones. But there's been plenty of times to catch up if you haven't. It's a great show, minus the last yeah. season. Uh, the last, like, two or three seasons are kind of terrible. <laughs> all right. Gotta keep... keep... Oh, sorry. So, no, please, please go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to bullshit about Game of Thrones <laughs> and the pandemic and how nobody went back to watch it in the eight months nobody's been working because <laughs> it was terrible. Oh, well, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Did a rewatch. <clears throat> all right. All right. So, you guys are making your way up the road. Downtown, if you will. Walking fast, faces passing a moment. <laughs> and we'll say, so it was, it was about noon when you guys were leaving. And we'll say that it's been about five hours. Um, so now with that in mind, here travel pace yeah five hours so you guys you guys have made it pretty far we'll go five ten fifteen yeah so so we'll say that you guys have made it to about there um you still have a good amount of sunlight but uh and we'll we'll, we'll say that we'll say that it's just just starting to uh, so the, the sun, the sun's just starting to creep a little bit further uh, behind the mountains, and the travel's been fairly, fairly easy and mundane. You know, there's not a ton of traffic on this re recent times with the dragon sightings and everything, um, but all of a sudden, from far up ahead of you, you see somebody in like like different colored robes like multicolored vibrant robes booking okay, so towards you just <sighs> and uh does anybody react to him before he gets up to the group nyler you go on that side of the road i'll go on this side of the road and we pull the rope on three no <laughs> okay <laughs> um i i'm gonna point him out to make sure that everyone sees him what 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 do you what do you think is going on there? I don't know. What's, where is he running from? Just wait till he yeah, gets here. 
I do guess. I see anything chasing him? Uh, no. Like, you, you can not move off the road, so in case he's just gonna zoom right past us and not even stop, I'm not gonna get ran over. <laughs> he's that frightened. Yeah, I probably wouldn't stand in the middle of the road. I'd just be, like, off to the side, like, where this guy went with him. Yeah, I'll like, you. you know. Make so I shall, like, jog up to him and then pop his boots of speed and start, like, backpedaling so I can talk to him while he's running. Wait. Okay. Hey, Bob, what, you what you running we from? We maybe see nothing ahead. Well, like, I guess I'd call back anime and say, do you see... Did you see anything he might be running from? Um, anime tells you that she did not see anything chasing him, uh, but uh, before Zat has a chance to really, like, start backpedaling here, um, he gets up to the group. He sees you all sort of, like, make way. Um, you know, I, I, what is what is Septus doing right now? Is he, like, just still standing in the middle of the road? Yeah, okay. he's not moving for nothing. Oh, he, uh, some flirty robes. Catch him. He, like, he, he gets up to, he gets up to all of you, and he sort of, like, looks at all of you really quickly, and goes, Hey! How's it going? And you can see he's a fairly young guy, uh, like short, short black beard. Um, he's wearing, uh, he, he's wearing like a like a floppy brim hat. It's uh, it's not as like blatantly wizard as Iggy's, um, but it's like it's sort of like gleams in the sun, different colors. His robes do the same. So he's just sort of like standing there, catching his breath for a moment. Uh. There's a town this way? Uh, yeah. Why are you running? Could get out in the mornings. You know. Whew, just packing out, you know? Can I do, like, an insight check on that? Uh, sure. <laughs> 16. Okay. I'd like to do a check too. Um, Just FYI, like I don't. This one I can't use perception. This is the wrong place for perception. It's still only the insight. Go. Yeah. So wait, wait. Uh, what were you saying, Tony? I I went completely off. Like like my brother's watching the stream. He's like in the valleys and cliff sides of Sword Mountains. You hear an echoing shout. Illuminate. Could it be? <laughs> <laughs> He's being chased by two wraiths. <laughs> um, so is is Iluna also so, rolling insight? Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So you both sort of. I mean, you you both can sort of tell that. Uh, you know, he's he he's like not really acting like a normal person does if they're just out for a jog. Um, Nylor, you're definitely getting more of a vibe that, you know, he's, uh, you, you know, you, you could clearly tell that, like, he was sort of inspecting all of you when he first showed up. Um, and, you know, you, you, you don't really believe most of what he's saying. You, you just think he's acting very strange. Well, I don't want to... Ask him his name. Like, you were out for a jog just way out here? You're looking for a town? Uh, yeah. Uh, one second. I don't have a name. Looks like you were going to call him all, like, Vodra or something. Nope. And uh, he goes, Yusuf, pleasure to meet you. Uh, yeah, no, uh, nothing weird. Just uh, out for my daily jog through a place I don't really know. Um, yeah. Uh, where are you? Where are you guys going? 
Why do you uh, want to know where we're going? Oh, I mean, she's making small talk. I'm just trying to reciprocate. Ooh, did you ever, did you ever run so hard that it like hurts your ass? <laughs> no. <laughs> did you forget to remove something after last night? That doesn't. Uh, no. Uh, just you know, I mean, oh, you're you're a tabaxi. I'm sure you can run for miles, and it's. Nothing. I mean, you're not wrong. <sighs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, you can tell just by looking at him. He's <clears throat> very human. Um, and, uh... Very human. He's just like, ooh. Yeah, no. So, uh, did he gotta... give us his name? Uh, Yusef. You... So, Yusef, yes. how many of your friends are up the road waiting for us? <sighs> My friends? I got... I ain't got any friends around here. Uh, trust me on that. So we're not going to get ambushed if we go up the road by your colleagues. Do you get what ambushed up the road? That's, uh, that's definitely something. It's definitely something, uh, some troubles that you got there, but me. You asked if there was a, you asked if there was a town up ahead. What, what, what are you going into town for? Yeah. Looking for a place to stay for the night? Why? Where where'd you come from? Why couldn't you stay there? I came from the north. So, uh, been been looking for a place. I just sort of, you know, getting out of the woods. I've been like I said, I've been up there for uh for a couple days now. Just trying to whew, find uh find a nice place to, to rest other than just out in the wilds. You guys uh you guys want to see a, see a, see a, see a cool magic trick? No. 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 Hey, you're lost. Do you have a brother? No, but I got a sister back home. You? Wait, up north. Where north exactly did you come from? From, like, the woods? Not on this trail that heads... Yusuf. Why do I know that name? Heath? Yes. Why do, Why do I know? <laughs> Lucas is like, wait, okay, like sidebar. <laughs> um, sounds like a name that we might know, but I don't know why. Give me, give me one quick second. I this don't isn't the guy from the loggers camp, is it? No, no, no. That's um, that's uh, uh, Falcon. Okay. I don't trust this guy, FYI, which is why I didn't want to. I, I don't want to see his magic tri trick, and then he like waves his hand, and we're all in shackles or something like that. I don't okay. want to do that. No, I, I know where I know so where you from. You came from the north, not the uh, east. Yes. Is this road on east, north, northeast. Uh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta. I guess I should. Oh no, I know exactly where he's where he's from. Never mind. I don't even need to look at that map. Uh, he goes, yeah, from, uh, I mean, further up north than, uh, it may appear, uh, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of, uh, ooh, heard of Silvery Moon. Oh, no. Jesus Christ, it's, you're very, do any of us know anything about Silvery Moon? Uh, I mean, I other than know. that it's, like, you know, like the the home city of illustrial uh, Silverhand, one of the seven sisters. Uh, that it's the home of the of like a great library. Um, this we is, know how far uh, that very far away. Oh yeah, it's 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 like weeks away. That's uh, quite the distance. So you're, you're really far uh, from home. By the way. This is what he, this is sort of what he looks like in the face. Like I said, he's wearing robes that are like, sort of like glimmering different colors and he's wearing like a big floppy brimmed hat. Uh, he is also not currently wielding a fireball. He's not currently? He's not currently wielding a fireball. Okay. Do you share um, the picture? Where is it? Uh, it's just, um, it's there just is. on the map. I found it. Good. Are you... Are you on a quest or something, Yusuf? Are you trying quest? to get somewhere you need to be? In in due time, in due time. Um, yeah, just uh, any sort of like... been traveled? 
Oh, a couple days now. I mean, the last place I, last good place that I rested was uh, uh, about a week or so ago. Been, uh, been like I said, just sort of going for my, going for a nice job. And uh, see, he just sort of, you know, finishes taking a deep breath. <sighs> well, for what it's worth, pleasure meeting all of you. You seem like, seem like upstanding folk. Uh, I must be going, though. I wish you the best. Um, Ta-ta. And he whew, starts booking it back down the road. The opposite way, or cool? Uh, like past where you guys were, so do, like heading towards Fandling. Do do we attack him? I don't. What was this? Yeah. What? what? <laughs> I think we we're supposed to see that is but that seemed dubious. Um, before you see far away, you want me to cast hold per, per, hold person? No. Okay, just let him run back. Hopefully, he doesn't kill Iggy. Let's go. <laughs> My God. I'm, okay, okay. I'm gonna sprint after him. Okay. <laughs> Yusuf! He, uh, he turns around seeing you running after him, and he's... Oh, yeah? What's, what's uh... Your ma what, what, what's your magic trick? Uh, you wanna see it? Description first. I don't trust you. Uh, no offense, but I just met you, and you're trying to throw magic at me. Uh... We can still see both of them. Uh, yeah, you and guys can see him. Happen. You guys can see him down there. I'm gonna just, get, get a little bit closer, but still keep my distance. All right, this it's just a card trick. It's uh, kind of cool. Pulls out a deck of cards. <sighs> you got me running, and then you stop me. Okay, and he fans out these cards. <coughs> Says, "Go ahead and take one." I pull one. And she died. <laughs> Instead of It's the deck of many things. <laughs> oh. oh my god, does he yes. have the deck of many um. things? <laughs> <laughs> it's the deck of many things. Oh shit, he's not laughing. <laughs> the world. Black hole. Does he recognize, oh. he recognize his heart? Ooh, Curious <laughs> cat in your heart. Zash, roll yeah. me a d20. Jesus, fuck, it's the deck of many things. <laughs> I rolled a 10. Yeah, for you, for those of you who don't know what the deck of many things is, you should totally look it up. Really um, cool. you, you draw this card, and as you do, you see that it is the two of hearts. Okay. Um, and as you, as you pull it out, he says, now remember that card. Okay. Okay. And then as you're looking at it, all of a sudden, he says, all right, see ya. And he starts running, um, and the, uh, the, the card, the symbol, the, the two of hearts, the image on it almost looks as if it changes and it looks almost as if you're peering into a small like little cavity and 25 gemstones begin to fall out from it and just begin littering the ground um looking at the quality of these you imagine each one is probably worth about 2,000 gold. What? What? The fuck? It's a. It okay. is. You, I'm going. So to... You drew the two of hearts, which was the gem card. 25 pieces of, of jewelry worth 2,000 gold each, or 50 gems worth 1,000 gold each appear at your feet. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I just got Damn. 25 gems worth 2,000 gold apiece. Okay. I'm going to chase him down again. Boots of speed, feline swiftness. He's going nowhere. I'll go up what? and pick up the gems and put them in my pack. Since he just kind of like left him on the floor. Oh, no, I definitely picked him up. That's why I boots of speed, feline swiftness. 
Okay. Uh, sorry, I wanted to write that down real quick. Um, this just gave made me rich. What yeah. what is going on here? That's good for you, man. I've seen worse things come out of that thing. This is the deck of many things. Are you kidding me? Well, hey, you didn't have to see the magic trick. You're lucky you got what you got. I want to pull another. Do you really want to? You really want to risk that? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea, dude. <laughs> all right. Your funeral. All right. All right. Out of character real quick. Do I roll again and risk it or not? No. Like, 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 I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it is. And I looked at some of these are like really bad. Or did you just get rich on your own? Well, I mean, I figure you guys listen. Okay, does everybody know what the deck of many things is? I, well, so I, I, I think regarding, uh, I think regarding what what Stacy is right now, that all that inventory is just in the collective at this moment. Yeah, because there is there has been no time to address that. Yeah. Uh, all you know, you saw, you saw a bunch of gemstones fall out of a card, <laughs> and then the card disappeared. And he, Zash quickly scooped this up and chased him down. Just, just so you guys know, some of the things that can happen. Oh yeah. Um, Completely cataclysmic events. Reality. Destroy the entire world. Real, reality's fabric unravels and spins anew, allowing you to avoid er, or erase one event as if it never happened. That's one. Yeah. Um, a powerful devil becomes your enemy. The devil seeks your ruin and plagues your life, savoring your suffering before attempting to slay you. It lasts either until you or the devil dies. Um, there's one where you lose 10,000 experience. Discard this card and draw from the deck again, counting both draws as one of your declared draws. Um, permanently reduce your intelligence by 1d4 plus 1. You gain 10,000 XP. And on uh, that great note, do you guys want me to draw again or not? <laughs> my vote's for no. Wait, no, nah, this is going to affect me. I don't want it. Mm -mm. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. The, the, this black card spells disaster. Your soul is drawn from your body and contained in an object okay. in a place of the DM's choice. But no. you are just focusing on the negative. There are positives. There's not that many. One that gives wishes and shit. I, I would say no. He's running uh, out of character. What is everyone's opinion? If you want to voice this to JJ, my votes for no. So you guys, you guys vote. What now? I think we I got think he's probably running lucky, from something but... he did. And we're I mean, maybe you can steal down by something. <laughs> okay, yes or no, guys? Steal it. One, we have one no. Hannah, no. what's your vote? I, I'm intrigued no, by something. It. Yes. Yes, Steve! Stacy? <laughs> what? It seemed so unwise, but you got so lucky. <laughs> Zash makes weird choices <laughs> and gets himself in trouble sometimes. Okay, is so yes or no? Yeah, Zash is the really right well. Okay, that's three no's. All right, never mind, Yusuf. Thanks for the gold. Gems, rather. Wait, unless you want to steal. Wait, should we take it? Steal the deck of many things? Yeah, take it. Okay, real quick, who wants to steal the deck of many things? This might be a really powerful wizard and we might die. <laughs> I like like I think it'd be cool, but that my character wouldn't want that, so no. <laughs> okay. Thanks again, and I'm gonna run back to the party. Um, yep. Guys, what the fuck? Did you see that? And I start pulling out the gems. Can can I look at can I like and grab one out of his hands there, and inspect it? Is there a diamond? Yeah, I'll say that one of them is a diamond. Oh, we're 2,000 gold? Yep. Okay. Each one of the gems... Just one? Each, each Just one um, diamond? There's 25. I'll say that... Uh, roll a d6. Okay. Five. Sure. Holy fuck. Okay. Can... can five of them are diamonds? Uh... Yeah, it's real fast. Tony, you wanted to inspect one, right? I wanted to inspect it to see if it was a diamond, specifically. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we have the yeah. same idea for I mean, it, it's, it's clear, it's brilliant, it's it's cut masterfully. Okay, so 
Can I ask the DM a question? How does Revivify work? If it destroys a gem worth at least 300 gold, would it just destroy that entire 2,500 gold? Exactly. It consumes the entire thing. Oh, well, that's not but very you can, good. You can use diamond dust, though, for it, too, right? So couldn't we have it ground up? For Revivify? Yeah. Yeah. It is, it is diamonds worth 300 gold. So okay. it is any amount of diamonds that add up to 300 gold or a diamond worth 300, at least 300 gold. Okay. So we'll just have to find somebody who can cut it. In the meantime, are you willing to, like, can I have it on the off chance that somebody dies in battle? No, they're my preciouses. Okay, fine. I hope you die. <laughs> I, I give, I give an eye wild. Like, 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 I, I obviously won't use it unless we need to because I don't want to waste freaking twenty two hundred gold. But yeah, I'll, no, I'll give you one. What? Okay. Uh, Albina, do you Should have? Should we really be carrying this Sorry, on us? I mean, I know it's in the book you're holding, yeah, but I'm not familiar with it. It's a spell that revives somebody once they die. But in order to do it, you need a a diamond worth at least 300 gold, which the spell consumes. And we got how many of those diamonds? Five. Uh, we got 25 five total, and five of them are diamonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I was clarifying. Yep. I can't... I, I don't have it in here. Okay. If you if you end up taking it, let me know, and then I can give you a diamond as well, and we'll have two people in the party who can res if yeah. needed. I'm just gonna roll a d20 because I want to see what if I would have did that, what would happen? Sure. Just 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 uh, my, for my own curiosity. Okay. What'd you get? A fifteen. Oh, what card you would have got? Yeah, I would have gotten skull. <laughs> Um, if you, if you would have drawn your, so basically, like, and we'll just say, this is all out of canon, all out of game. Yeah. Yusuf holds out the deck of cards to you, you draw one, you look at it, um, it is the two of clubs, and as you're looking at it, uh, you, wait, all of a sudden, I think you're just like, um, Oh, no, you were right. Yeah, okay, sorry, you were right. I was wrong. Uh, all of a sudden, like, things just get real. Like, you, you get this headache. <laughs> like, you get this massive headache. As all of a sudden, everything around you just becomes, like, sensory overload. And you go to, like, like, what the hell is going on? But, like, it's coming out kind of slurred. Like, what the hell? What's going on? Uh, you got the idiot. Yeah. You permanently reduced your intelligence by one d four plus one, which I rolled a three, so that was a four. So your intelligence was then a six. Which and then it says it says I. You can I can't. Draw an additional card beyond your declared card. So the deck of many, the way that it works is, you like when you're approaching it, not not in this capacity. You have to say, like, I'm drawing one. But since he is saying, draw a card, you that's the declaration, is one card. Okay. Um, you could draw another one after that because of that. Okay. See, good um, thing. Good thing I didn't. <laughs> I was waiting for you guys to be like, yeah, let's do it. And all of a sudden... Dude, you a I wanted to so and bad. Get, and, and you get the void. And I was like, I'm like... Oh boy, the place where this item is. Oh my god. Like, yeah, for I me? Mean, it's, it's tempting for sure, but. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we just encountered <sighs> the deck of many things. Holy shit. Maybe if I had prior knowledge to the deck of many things, I would have been more like, yeah. Every magic item Every you wear or carry it. disintegrates. Oh, in character, yeah. if you saw him pull that card and get a bunch of gems would would your character be like oh my turn my character care. no out of care i i would have thought we got really lucky I don't know. zash would have kept pulling if i'm being honest but okay so are we <laughs> ruin the whole fucking campaign. okay are we are we moving forward yeah. so yes you guys 
you guys can like, can you what's up you know i didn't i didn't know it was going to happen like if it was going to affect everyone i didn't want to be like yeah then we all just die and you know mm-hmm. oh my god so wait, three would be nine like okay what <laughs> what? <laughs> what about Nylor? <laughs> you said three? Uh, yeah, I said three is Nylor. I have to make a oh, note you're... here. Why? What's, what's three? <laughs> what? Nylor, what's your swimming speed? Oh, wait, oh god. I already, I already know that. 30? Yeah, road. <laughs> right? No, it's, uh, I actually uh, don't know if it's just 30. Um... Isn't it normally like negative ten to your? Oh, sorry, not your swimming speed, but how long you can hold your breath. Three minutes, and then two rounds of suffocation. All right, cool. I just need to know that for reference. What? You can't say that. (laughs) (laughs) You guys, um, yeah. With that, you collect these gems. You continue on. um, Eventually, the sun goes down, and you guys can rest for the evening. I didn't check for my herbs. Okay, okay. So I will, okay. let, I will let you do that. Um, I will let you do that. Uh, we'll say six times. You had, you had a good opportunity to do that. Can I have my Wolfertinger look for uh, food? Absolutely. Um, yeah. It's with every one d six days. Right. So basically, at this point, you're gonna roll a d six, and then that's the next time that he can do this thing. Four. Four? Okay. So yeah, it would be in another four days that he could do. Okay. And I'm rolling... Wait. 6d20. And you're adding your... Yeah, and you're going to add uh, three to each of those. So just roll 6d20. Is it we rest? Are we long resting? Um, Yeah, you guys are going to long rest. Okay, Good. so that was, um, so you, 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 you guys are traveling at, we'll say you guys are, so were you guys traveling at normal pace? I imagine you. Yeah, normal. Okay. Um, so that means, Iluna, you had, uh, you did have a success. Uh, so what were you looking for? I wrote three down. I think I want Harl Thorn more than, okay. I'm just trying to keep my notes. Well, sure, let so me go. double check. Yeah. Whatever you whatever you were looking for, um, I mean in this area you would That much um, not very good right here, so Yeah, I would say thing. in this well, so that's that's the thing. That's more of where like water is. Um so Carlson? Yeah, because the location is technically coastal. And throughout the heartlands. Right, but if you look at the if you look at the location, right, the coastal, so it grows near water. So I mean, if you want to make the argument that you're like, you you were looking for this while you were out looking for water for the rest of the group, I'm perfectly fine with that. So how many did I get? Uh, it would be it would be one cluster. So go ahead and roll a d4, and that's how many you get to. Um, but yeah. You guys get to, uh, beyond that, you guys get to rest for the evening. You got a three. Okay. So yeah, you found, uh, you found three. Yeah, because it's, they're, they're measured in small bags of thorns. So, like, each bag of thorn is a, is a material, is, is an ingredient. Um. Just real quick, Hannah took Revivify, so I gave her a diamond. Okay, cool. Just yeah. So that you know. Gold. Hmm. How do I? Go to equipment, and then manage equipment, and under the filter, just type in diamond, and you can add a diamond. And then I think you can like put a note on it so that you know that it's worth 2,000 gold. Mm-hmm. That is the truth. Um, 
so when you guys rest, uh, what do you what are you guys doing when you rest? Like, are you doing anything with your companions? Are you, um, like, you know, not, I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm sort of curious about like what Nylor does, sort of in his downtime. Um, probably if there's like a tree nearby, I would probably just like sit against this tree and just stare up. Not 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 very conversational, just kind of by himself. Okay. Yeah, I was just I was just sort of curious, like, because I, I I feel I feel bad that I, I really haven't like had a good opportunity to find out like how he because he, he seems very he seems pretty stoic. Um yeah. Uh, Zash would be inspecting these gems that he just had appear from a card. Of course and he would be. Reflecting, trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. Yeah, you. Um, I mean, they're like I said, they're 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 crystal clear, perfectly cut. Like you, I mean, when you were up in Neverwinter, like you know the yeah the, the Innsmiths, they they were sort of you know higher rollers. Um, you've seen, like, a gem or two like this before in their possession, um, you know, but you, you've never seen, like, this many, and all of a sudden just appearing playing card, um, definitely, definitely, you know, a more obscure, weird thing. Yeah, you can literally see just his brain <laughs> on his facial expression trying to figure this shit out. <laughs> So I know would be bonding with her new friend. Uh, the Bloom Smasha. Crawler? That's a really bad name. But it's probably going to stick. Um, just to get to know it a little better. Sure. But I'm not even sure how you would bond with a plant frog. It doesn't even need much food. I mean... Just pat just it on its little Yeah, head. just sort of playing with it. You know, just like I said, it's it's a really it's a really like you know relaxed creature. Um, so I introduce mean, you... it to the other. People. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So uh, what we're gonna do, and and this will this will sort of be like an example uh, for you guys. Um, anytime that there is something that you do, let me know what it is that you do with them, and what we'll do is. Uh, pretty much with this, um, you know, put somewhere in your notes, um, you know, I'm going to try and keep track of it as best I can. I might just add a new section into the one note, uh, but basically like, like with this thing with your companion, um, during, yeah, during a rest, work with the GM to describe the type of game you and your companion play together. Once you've done this three times, your bond strength increases by one. Um, you can also... You know, sit there and just relax with them. You can, you know, groom them, stuff like that. So, okay. So what? That's what I was gonna ask. I know it wasn't very clear on how bonds would increase. So if I spend time with the bloom catcher, that mm -hmm. this act, this would be one. Yes, this would be one. You would have to do it two more times before the bond for it would go up by one. And it, do we have to be super specific or just say I'm spending time with... I mean, I would prefer you to be like... Like, we, like we're like we sitting there, you know, we're out looking for water and food, and I see this thing, you know, like flicking its tongue up at bugs that are in the air, not necessarily eating it, so... I start create. I use druid craft to create little, you know, leaps in the air, and it shoots its tongue up at them. You know, something like that. Maybe I could help you look for your herbs. Yeah. I would look for herbs, but I, I kind of would have them all three out to get them. So that's to that's gonna be other. the thing. It's going to be you mm -hmm. can. Spend time with one of them to bond during uh, during the length of a rest. The whole length of a rest. Well, so okay, so so what I will say is, 
Because it technically because says... Because in the book it said one hour was creating bonding. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. At least that's how I understood it. I mean, there's different things that show, like, that's the grooming and cleaning thing, where you must spend an hour a week cleaning them. Um, the first time you clean your companion, your bond, yeah, uh, each week, your your the bond strength increases by one. Neglecting it for a full week decreases it by one. Um, but like playing with your companion is that it's during a short rest. So I would say if considering that you are an elf. And I would consider the right activity. I would allow you to do that with, you know, your other two companions as well. Um, so, but basically, like, it is, for the length of a short rest, you are spending time with one of them. Hmm. Okay, then just the new one for now. Okay. I'll be relaxing with mine. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you sort of see he's, you know, all the excitement from the day. He's, you know, just sort of looking at you. You know, he's he's trying to like sniff through your sniff through your bag. Um. You know, he's he's sort of like going through your rations and stuff and like sniffing at them and sort of inspecting everything he pulls out uh he pulls out your little little bottle of ink and uh sort of like batting it around i'll maybe be entertaining him with my mage hand or something <clears throat> okay yeah so that will uh that will also count as uh as playing with them uh and just so you guys know i am just so you guys can keep track of where i'm keeping track of it uh under your uh, under your character sheet, in the notes tab where it says allies, I'm just putting the name of the creature, and then I'm putting, like, one play. So this way, we know that you played with them one time. And what's the point of increasing bond? You get new uh, abilities, or what? Yeah, so increasing bond over time will grant you more abilities with them. So right now, the Wolpertinger is a level 8. Once you get him to level 10, um like Septus's spider, your companion can actually take the night shift for you. When taking a long rest, your companion can take a shift to keep watch for trouble, and during this time, you double their ability modifier with perception checks. Um, at 11th level, they get additional hit dies. At 12th level, they get a rune, um, which is something I have to go over with Stacy. I've been completely forgetting that. Um, for anime, but as you as you level up your bond with them, they are able to help you. Like eventually, um, once per short or long rest, they can use a bonus action to grant you an additional one d six on an attack or ability check. Um, at strength eighteen, um, as a bonus action, your creature or your companion can perform one of the following actions: dash, disengage, or dodge, and the last one, uh, which you have to, you actually have to be level six in order to get bond strength twenty, is uh, if you take lethal damage and are within range of their movement speed, it will dash to you and become the target of the attack. Uh, that one's called friends till the end. That's pretty badass. Yeah. So, um, and keep in mind that's if they're out. Like if they're in their orbs, they obviously can't do anything. But when they're out of their orbs, they act as a familiar. They get their own turn in combat, essentially. So. I think for mine, we both have night vision, right? Um, Me and my yeah, I think, I believe it has dark vision. Well. Yeah, I think it says right there. Yeah, I just want to make sure I did, because for some reason mm -hmm. I couldn't remember. Um, I want to go walk around with my, with Rafa, and so see if what, I can find something for him to eat. Uh, what, what? What shape is is Rafa taken? Um, he's gonna be he like they said they like to be in the cat shape, which I like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean it can turn into any object that fits within a two foot cube. Oh, that's pretty badass. Yeah. So it yeah. it can like it, it yeah it's um uh yeah it looks like a flaming cat. Yeah, it's it's indistinguishable 
from an ordinary object, but yeah, it can absolutely turn into a cat, and it sort of has like these like fake little, you know, it's it basically it's like these long hair body that it's sort of like using its super yeah. possibility to like make it look like flame. Um, yeah. So you're you're marching through here, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll say that you eventually come oh you what's up oh i cut out i heard you're marching through we'll just say that you're 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 walking around the camp um you know while every while you know you you're all starting to set up camp and um we'll say that you come across a uh like like a nest of eggs uh of some kind of creature and uh, you see the you see uh, Rafa just sort of like you know licking its chops as it's looking at it. Do you, uh, do you stop her? Oh, your mic's your mic's muted or something. I can't hear you. Is that better? Yes. I don't know what happened. I I could hear you sort of, but no. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let little Rafa go ahead and eat some eggs. Um, all right. So yeah. you you see it it approaches them, sort of sniffs it, and all of a sudden it unhinges its jaw <laughs> into just this like like disgusting snake like toothy maw that it reaches out and just sort of encapsulates the entire nest like the eggs the brush, the sticks, the, the, the leaves and everything, and just <laughs> sucks it right in, gone in an instant. And I'm just going to pick up little Rafa and wipe him off with my, uh, with my, um, cloak. You know, clean him a little. See, uh, they see Sheem's, uh, particularly, particularly, you know, happy that you're, you know, wiping her face off and everything, and she, uh, has this smug little look about herself. You should be proud. I'm just going to pat her little head. Good job, Rafa. You got yourself some food. <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, we will say that, uh, that that you guys rest for the night. You a long rest and everything that comes with that. And you set out in the morning. Um We'll say that you guys are going to be getting to Conaberry uh, at nighttime, um, and it would be about another. We'll say that you're getting to Conaberry uh, as the evening is just coming in. Um, five ten. We'll say you guys rested about there. So yeah, yeah. We'll say that you guys get to Conaberry uh, evenings closing in. Um, the let's see where the hell is it? Here it is. Yeah. Roll for more herbs, though. Oh yeah, yeah. we've done a whole nother bit. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, go ahead and roll your six d twenty. Oh my goodness, I can't find the page. Um, a quick question: Do war forges when they rest? Do they have to do a full eight hours, or are they only four? <clears throat> um, so theirs is kind of similar to elves. Um, what it is, is they, like, they don't sleep. They mm -hmm. have a four-hour period of time where they're in an inner inactive state, but they're still conscious of everything that's going around. Okay. So, Warforges are great because they're just, like, basically sentries. Like, you, the right. Warforge can pretty much take watch all night. That's um, why I wanted to ask. Yep, that's why I play them. They, they <laughs> They do, you can't don't have to worry about breathing underwater. You don't have to worry about getting poisoned or disease. You get total proficiencies right off the bat. Can I say? Yeah. Okay. What's up, Stacey? That anime or the bloom crawler was helping me. I don't know if the bloom crawler's stats would help. Um. Find anything. There yeah, being a I'm little plant and all. I would say if you want to have the bloom crawler help you, you can definitely do. Um, considering it is a plant, um, if so, what I'll say is when you're searching for herbs, 
if you're having the bloom crawler uh, help you during that period of time, I will give you advantage on those checks because it sort of like basically what you're doing is you're showing like you're like showing it what you want to find. So you have to be specific about what you want to find with it. And for those checks, it is helping you find them. Yeah, because isn't it like okay, a plant? So itself? how would I roll yep. that? So so it is plant. Well, just basically, you're just gonna roll two d twenties six mm -hmm. times. If you want, I can also roll them, because I can roll them pretty quickly. That one would be a 13 plus 3. Okay. Uh, that would be a 14 plus 3. Same thing. Okay. Pretty sure that's 4. That's yeah. 4. Yeah, you got two more. Okay. One more. All right, so what were you looking for? Were you looking uh, for... When do I need my ingredients put on? So... This area is still like Harlthorn and Hoofleaf. Can I split them in half? Like three and three? Well, like I said, this is going to be something where you're... Like, if you wanted to split them, you would, like, you would not get advantage on rolls because you're getting advantage oh. on the ones that the Bloom Crawler is helping you with. I guess we'll go with Carl Thorn again. Okay, so you're going to roll 5d4 because you had five successes. Five, that's a lot. Okay, yes, yeah, so you get to add nine. Nice. All right, so. No problem with that for a while. You guys get your um, you guys get your rest. You you're you're setting out for the day, um, and eventually, as like I said, as night is coming by, you arrive in the town, uh, the abandoned town of Conaberry. To enter, it is eerily silent, except for the whistling of the wind as it blows through the settlement's burnt and crumbled down structures. Um, as you're sort of following this, you. You see the path that leads um, to the south that would lead down to uh, where uh, Zeline told you this temple was. So basically, it's just about five miles south. You can actually see that there is a sign there. Um, it's sort of like broken, sort of, you know, cracked on its side. Uh, but it says Shrine of Sabris. Does it look it like it's obvious what happened here like was it an orc raid that destroyed the town or um for perception uh so go ahead and roll perception stacy if you want um and then so yeah i mean you it's it does look like that uh, it, now you you don't know the uh you don't know like you know the intimate history of conaberry but um from you know from various tales uh this is this is an old town that was ransacked about a hundred years ago by barbarians oh. okay so i thought um, it was like recently sacked all right <laughs> no 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 yeah so uh so so pretty much uh let me see here yeah there's i'm not gonna lie there's not a ton of information on this place uh from the book it says the Tribor Trail runs right through this abandoned town, which was sacked by barbarians years ago and now lies in ruins. A dirt road extending to the south supposedly leads to a supposedly abandoned shrine dedicated to Savras, the god of divination and fate. So there's <clears throat> literally like barely any information on it. So it, it is it is like a derelict, destroyed town. Okay. Um, I guess I would just you said we're coming in around nighttime, right? Like, as the sun's setting? Yeah. I would, uh, 
I would look around for, like, a good building, like, if there was one with roof or walls that we could camp in. Okay, go ahead and roll perception check, and, uh, Stacy, what were you, what was the perception check you were rolling for? Um, <laughs> this, the same, just to see where it looked safe. But I okay. rolled terribly. And if I didn't have my plus eight, it would have been really terrible. I I rolled a twenty three total. Okay. So, uh, so Stacy, we'll say that you know, probably the fact that this place is so eerily silent and dead, uh, it's just a bit off putting for you. You know, you're used to things more lively, more vibrant. Um, you know, it's just not really your your sort of cup of tea um but zash as you're looking around you do see that there is a building uh that you know comparatively it has four walls and a roof um you can see that the windows are broken uh the doors sort of hanging off its hinges but it seems like the most structurally sound building in the the area that you inspected can i ha like is it a big town or not right not so not really. I mean, it's a it's it's a little bit bigger than uh, it's a little bit bigger than um, than Fandolin. See if I, I think there was a map of it somewhere. Can I just? Somebody. I just want to like yeah. walk around like the exterior and see if anything catches my eye. Sure. That like like be. like do like a wide perimeter around the outskirts of the town. Um, one second, because, like, somebody did one time, like, literally, it was, it was called, like, the Ruins <coughs> of Conaberry. Um, yeah, like, it's, it's kind of a small map. Um, give me just a second, and I will, I will pop this up for you. Did you need me to roll anything in the meantime? Um, yes, roll me a perception check. Okie dokies. Oh, nat 20. Very nice. You are going to see the thing. The thing. Or should I say things? Oh no. <laughs> it's always not. It's always tough. It is always me. I don't know why. I, I should just like stand in the back and be like, I'm good with anything. Whatever you guys want to do, I'm not making any decisions. Nylor, tell me, what are your I ASMR eyes seeing? Line. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we're under moonlight. That's like where I thrive, okay? Yeah, but earlier he wanted to see how long you could hold your breath for, so... There's no water anywhere around here, so... Uh, yeah, until the mage no points out and it circles you with anywhere. water. There's no... Big bodies of water. You're gonna drown me in a puddle? <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm gonna drown you in a puddle. But okay, listen, I, I'm a druid. I could turn into a fish. I'll be fine. You're 100% right. I've heard of a story of that not working out well for somebody. Well, I'm not gonna jump off a fucking cliff and turn into a goldfish. <laughs> oh my god, I, I was shopping yesterday in walmart like like when i was supposed to be working and i was in like their electronic section and they have pop figurines of keyleth and grog and i'm like oh, i want that but nice. i didn't buy it all right um this isn't the best but it's it's about as close of a representation that we're really gonna get and it might chug to load because this is actually a very very big ass map Jesus Christ, I didn't realize how oh. fucking huge this is. Oh, holy shit. Oh, look, a whale! Do you know what's in a whale? Water. That's how I die. Right there, that that little whale. Um, but yeah, so so this is this is what we'll what we'll base the map off. Um, okay. What side did we yeah. come in? You would have come in on the, you would have come in from the west. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do like a... It's not loading for me. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, I, I will just, I will just post the link to it in, um, uh, here. I'll just post right. the link to it because it is a massive file that I'm actually very surprised loaded on here. 
It loaded for me perfectly fine. Yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna be connection based, really. It's 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 fucking ridiculous. All right, we'll see if. Uh... Oh my god, I don't even. Do you just want me to do a screenshot of it? Um, you can if you want. Like Discord on Kaylee's computer has just like stopped uh, <laughs> working. Yeah. Oh, here we go. It's it's 97 Meg. Hey. Damn, Damn it, Meg. Damn it, Meg. Um, but yeah. So so Nylor, while this map is loading on uh, Discord, um, we will continue on. So that was the 18th. So you guys left there on that day. You guys arrived here in Conaberry on the 18th. Um, so, Nylor, as you're looking around the town, you eventually, uh, off, uh, further off to the eastern side of the town, um, you begin to hear the sound of, like, like trampling grass. And as you look over, you can see that there are three unsaddled riding horses grazing near a well, a little bit away from town. I'm sorry, what did, horses you said? Three unsaddled horses. Okay. Um, can, can you load or can you load our characters on the map, or no? Oh. Sh so yeah, I got you. It is needy, I'm sorry. Just turn into a horse and go talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I fully expect you both to roleplay horses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. You're hilarious. I, I literally do not know where your character's loaded onto this map. <laughs> uh, Wait, I don't see... I don't see him I on the map. I see a green line in the oh upper left-hand corner. So hold, on, hold on, hold on. I have to fucking, I have to fucking change this grid size. Oh my god, I did not realize just how fucking big this map actually was. The grids. We're standing all together in a big clump on a tree. Uh, no, I'm just literally trying to find something Holy that I can fuck. reference as size. Oh, that's quite the large town. Yeah, there you go. There you guys are. You're up here, Tony. I've decided. <laughs> I'm in those specific trees. There I am. You're actually right there. Is that like a graveyard <laughs> there? Um, wait, that's probably... Graveyard? that's. Yeah. Yes, there is. Of course there is. Yeah, we'll 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 say that that is the map. Okay. Uh, that is the scale. Okay, so are there people on the or is this like a deserted place? Yeah. It's it's deserted. I was where, gonna where, ask. Yeah, abandoned. Where where oh, are the horses? Other people hiding out or other scary shit. Um, I was gonna ask if I could anime to look for people. <clears throat> well, uh. Okay, yeah, you can send anime up to sort of scout the area, see if there's anything around. Um, Nylor, uh, you are off more towards the east. And I see the horses where? Like, like off the map somewhere? At the well? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, they're, they're a little bit further off the map. Okay, I'm going to go back and... Oh, God, I look how far I have to walk back. Um, I'm going to just tell the group, like... <laughs> I'm going to tell the group... <laughs> Hey guys, there's some there's That's a there's a the way back. There there's there's a couple horses. Oh, that's cool. Look, we're all moving together as a group. <laughs> I'm I'm literally scaling up like scaling the map up and down. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm just going to let them know that there are three unsaddled horses up a little bit further up to the east. Three horses. There's six of us. Unsaddled Helpful. horses. Apparently, that's. Well, I can run faster than a horse, so I don't need one. But you guys. Why do you guys think there are just horses here and no people? Well, 
they might be. Yeah, the anime's doing a scout. Yeah, is anime finding anything? Uh, she's not back yet. Don't what did you say, Smith? I said we go check it out. Go over to the horses. Yeah, as we're walking, I'll ask Nylor, how close did you get to them? Did they get spooked? I don't think they saw me. I'm yeah, assuming they did. They, I'm assuming okay. they didn't see me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll we'll go over along. as well. Does anyone have, like, animal friendship? Animal handling? No, isn't there, like, an animal friendship I... spell? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the actual really... spell. Yeah. I only added something. Because, aside from anime, I did want to... I have beast sense. What does that do? Uh, Touch a willing sense. beast. Yeah, you, you can touch I a creature and see through its eyes. Oh, you have speak with animals, too. Yep. So, so I won't be the one neighing. You will. <laughs> don't worry, Stacey. They I don't have asses this time. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to ax you in the back this time. I mean, they, you know horses can kick and, like, kill people. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... Are are we all heading over? Yes, just yeah. one, everyone. Okay, let's go. They they got a, they got a two d four plus three damage. Um, so yeah, you uh, you you walk over to them, and uh, when you get closer, you can see that they they sort of you know peek their heads up, and they they they're looking at you, but they're not running away. I guess I should use the speak with animals. That's the only useful thing I had. Okay. Do it. Yeah. I'm double checking. Yeah, I mean. Comprehend and probably communicate for 10, ten minutes. minutes. Wow, that's a hell of a conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't talk to horses. What are they going to say? I am. Um, are you casting? Know. Yeah, I don't know what to ask them. You guys give me some. What Just do you want to know about these horses? Ask, ask them if they came from the temple. Ask them if they know where any people are. Ask them, have yeah. they seen any other travelers recently? Are they wild horses? Do the horses Do they... have to roll against that, or is it like auto work? No, you're, I mean, you're not, you're not putting a spell on them. You're, you're casting a spell on your... Yeah. Okay, go, before they leave. So, you... You begin... Oh. Tentatively walk up to these horses. Um, roll me an animal handling check. Can I guide her? Or is it too late? Uh, I will say that it is. Um, no, I'll let you. Okay, I'll guide you. So add a d4. Handling check. It's a flipping one. Uh oh. <laughs> They, uh, they, you, you are gonna get kicked in the chest for two d four plus three damage. So I want to know. I want to know what you're what you're saying to them as you're walking up. Um, we're we're I'm friendly. We're looking for help. Danger. Do you say danger? Yeah. You also, you see that they're like looking at you like like li they're looking at you like afraid. Okay, and, uh, they'll back off. Yeah, and as 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 you're backing up um like you as you as you're backing up, you can see that their eyes aren't necessarily straight at you, but slightly above as anime flies down and lands on your uh, on your shoulder. The, they're afraid of the. She's friendly too. Danger. We're... Have you seen danger? Am I danger? Like yes. I quick question. So that's for me. I'm danger. You might assume. Can we hear? Can we hear? Is Stacy like literally just talking in common right now, or is it uh, literally her neighing? <laughs> I, 
I just I don't know how the spell works. <laughs> I'm not going to make that call. That's up to Stacy. If 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 she flavors this that she's like <laughs> then then that's what Iluna is doing. Otherwise, it's I mean it's her call. It's pure flavor at that point. <laughs> No, I suppose she's talking to her in horse. Whatever. Flavor, yeah. Stacy. It's so nice. Well, I'm not. <laughs> not horse. Are you saying you're? Are you saying a Luna is talking in common? It's like being translated to horse to them. Well, so that's that's basically what I'm asking is, can we understand what you're saying to them? That would be helpful. <laughs> So that's my question. Are is I Luna speaking common or equine? This is gonna set the stage for the rest of the time you ever use this spell. So choose wisely. <laughs> what I I know. <laughs> it says to comprehend mm -hmm. and verbally communicate the beast yeah. for the duration. Right. I would imagine I have to yeah. talk in their language. Okay. So okay. She is speaking, she's speaking an equine in nays and whinnies. Uh, you do not understand what she is okay. saying. She's speaking equine tongue. <laughs> Suddenly I know all languages of I animals. I mean, as a spell, yes. As a spell. Um, so, have you seen other people? No. Can you not talk in <laughs> No! <laughs> you may not want to roleplay this level, but I... Enjoying this. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. What do you guys need to know? I'm, uh, I'm talking orcs. in common. We've wow, got like eight minutes. Yeah, while, the, while this is going on, um, yeah. everybody Have but I lose... Yeah, everybody but Iluna, I want you guys to make perception checks. Oh, another nat 20! Oh, Holy okay. shit! I rolled a Have you ball. seen any orcs? Any big giant orcs? Um, so... I will address that in just a second. Uh, so, what did uh, okay, okay, um, Zash and Smith? What did you guys get for your perception checks? Ten. Should I roll for my Wolpertinger? Because he uh, gets the advantage. If your Wolpertinger is out, yeah, you can roll for. Uh huh. And Zash. Twenty total. Smith, your Wolpertinger. I'm working on it. So that's based on wisdom. Uh, my Wolpertinger's got four, plus two wisdom, so is that no, plus four? Your, your Wolpertinger, if you look at oh, it, if you plus seven. Plus seven on perception. Holy okay. shit. He's extremely perceptive. Mine's passive perception. What's that? Passive perception is your perception modifier plus ten. So that's just how you are normally. Um, 26. Okay. 26? Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Rafa would just be a d20 because it is based on it is based on wisdom so uh, Rafa's would be just be a d20 because he has a uh, modifier to wisdom um okay so so yeah so uh Zash and Nylor and the Wolpertinger I mean the Wolpertinger sees this but doesn't really connect the dots um doesn't really gather the information um, of, of the like pertinence of this, but Zash and Nylor, you guys can see while Iluna is sitting here winning and neighing um, that these horses all have a brand on them that is the letters B-A-K. B-A-K. Wait, what's going on? The horses uh, have this on them? The horses have this, yeah, have this branding. You have not it um but the wolpertinger has noticed it but like it's more it's more like informational it's not like something it can 
necessarily yeah. react to. I'm gonna like lower my voice as she's winning and neighing and inform the entire group of the brand. Um, and I literally, you asked if this, if these horses had seen orcs, and uh, with that, uh, they, uh, the one does tell you um, at home. Um, oh, did you, where, do you normally carry humans? Where are you, you don't have riders or saddles, do you not normally <clears throat> carry humans? Oh, no. Um, <laughs> and real quick, uh, I need you to roll me another animal handling check. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. only a um, so at this, uh, you know, th these these horses, they just sort of, you know, <clears throat> they, they they go up on their hind legs, they t and they start heading east. Should we follow? So what they say about the saddles? They said home. I don't no. understand. They're, they're unsaddled. They're just they they don't have saddles. They they're just like horses. It might just be like a nondescriptive, I but. They don't normally carry riders, then. That's what I was asking. I mean, they they said no, and then they went back That's... and are heading heading off east. Okay, I guess we should I'm... just like like we came here to go to the temple, so or the shrine. So should we just rest and go to the shrine tomorrow? Yeah. Groups consensus. The, the horses said they see orcs at home. Okay, well, like, so they're probably further up on the trail. And they don't normally carry riders. So they're not missing any riders. People haven't been thrown off or... I'm guessing. They were, they were definitely branded, though. Although I'm not sure what B-A-K stands for. Um, after we figure out things here at the shrine, we could mosey on up to the, uh ranch and to yeah, see what's going on up there. there but i think now since we're here so we don't have to double back we should rest get all our strength back from the travels and then do the shrine tomorrow i agree what was the brand i'm sorry b-a-k -A thanks burgers and kale probably absolutely it's Brussels sprouts and kale. God no. All right. Uh, so you guys are you guys are heading to the heading to the shrine in the morning. I think yeah, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm also gonna say to the party. You no, know, I think since we're so close and we know orcs are in the area, we should definitely start taking turns and having people stand watch while we rest. That's probably a good idea. I, I mean, I'm getting a mm -hmm. little. This this town kind of makes me a little uneasy. So I think that's for the best. Yes. Mm. Just one. What's up, Anna? Do force watch with anime. We determine the order of who's watching. Well, I think it should we probably. Yeah, I think it should be split between the elves and the warforged since they only need four hours each. Or I think the rest of us all need eight, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, eight hours. Uh, six. Yeah. Basically, basically, yeah. Basically, the way that it works is uh, for for every race but elves and warforge, it is uh, the eight hours of a long rest is six hours of sleep and two hours of light activity, um, and then for elves it is four hours of a trance and four hours of light activity and for a warforge it is four hours of the inert state and four hours of light activity which okay. keeping keeping watch um counts as that light, light. activity okay. okay so four that's 12 hours right there right no yeah i mean you, 12 yeah you guys you guys have more than enough you know more than enough people that you know can can keep watch and I mean elves also maintain their 
their awareness, uh, elves in Warforged also maintain their awareness while they're trancing and in their inert state. So they can always dip out of that. They just sort of have to go back into it almost immediately. Oh, if Anna Maid's with me, she'll also be an extra. Yeah. Also, keep in mind, um, for Septus, um, the spider has uh, already has small sentinel. So it can keep watch as well. Yeah, so we can we can just break it up like that. Stacy first watch, set the second, yeah. And then I'm Smith sorry, third. I need a first watch. Well, I mean, you we, don't, we won't need a third. third watch. It's only eight hours. <laughs> need to cover. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, and if Smith wants to jump in on one of those watches, he definitely can. That's up to him. Hey. No. Wait, what's up? <laughs> Swap out. We we were just talking about who was taking watch, and since you well, and oh, you, I Luna. And... Okay. Alright. Cool. So yeah. Taking a nap with my Rafa. All right. So yeah, we will. Uh, we will say you guys. You guys wake up the next morning, and you begin heading down towards the shrine. Um. Let me see some. So, so that all of our um like sheets should be all long rested. Yes, mm -hmm. make sure you Within go to your character it. sheet and do a long rest. Um, so um, so you guys begin heading down south. It's, uh, it's only a few miles. It only takes you about an hour. Um, but when you arrive, as, as you're getting closer, you can see it uh, a little bit further in the distance. So a ruin stands in the middle of a vast field north of the rocky foothills of the Sword Mountains. A stone, an old stone temple with a belfry jutting from its peaked roof is enclosed by stone walls. Many sections of this wall have collapsed over time. The trail ends at a crumbling gatehouse, the doors of which were sundered long ago. Uh, three of the four towers on the corners uh, that once stood on the outer wall have collapsed. Only one on the northeast corner remains. And uh, what draws your attention to it is as you get, uh, as, you're, as you're making your way up there. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, was, uh, as you're making your way up there, all of a sudden, an arrow and lands right in front of you, and you can see that there is an orc guard with a bow and arrow aimed in your position, aimed in your direction. An orc? Yeah. Hey, um, Anna, or Iluna's still red, but I'm pretty sure she was green, and I never changed her off of that. Okay, that's fine. I'll change that. Um, again, Iluna, you... Capability. You're the only one that speaks orcish. So, super exciting. Why is that idea? Why did that put a white? I'm just going to check. Uh, what advantages? Oh. Um, before we do anything. Can I cast Augury and see what I'm told if talking to the orcs are a good idea? If it's if it's a good idea to continue in? Is is so what what is the specific course of action? Um talking to the orc to gain entrance into the shrine. Uh well, or yeah, whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's not good. That's not what you want to hear. Bad results. <laughs> I'll let everyone know that. No. Okay, so we're not going to be able to... Oh. Wait, what was the response? Do not talk. Talking is not a good idea. The uh, response was negative. Um, so, meaning we go in here, it's, we're, we're going to have a fight. 
You guys. How many orcs do we see? Just one. Um. So you you guys are still you guys are still a ways away from this place. Uh, you're you're actually still in more of like a slightly for, like wooded area. You've just re you've just now started to come out into the open. Um, you can only see the one orc that is up on that uh, that that is up on that platform. Which platform? Is he supposed to be on the map? He's uh, technically he is over here. Okay, but you guys are. Is that you like guys a you guys are still a distance away from him. Is this like a fortress or a town or what are we looking at? Uh, it's a temple. It's a so basically, oh, a yeah. It's uh, it's like an old, it's like an old church that's surrounded by these walls that over time have sort of like fallen and uh, gone decrepit. Is the surrounding area? Is it just like all flatland, or is there like shrubs and bushes and trees? There is. Um, Yeah. So further out from this place, there is a forested area, um, but directly around it, it is a vast field. So okay. there's really like, is there like tall grass or anything? Um, I'll say that I'll say that there's tall grass that maybe like a small creature could could hide in it um, and gain a little bit of coverage, uh, but medium creatures would still struggle with it. Okay. That's a little bit out of game, but sort of in game. Iluna's spring face step can teleport someone instead of her. She can do this twice per long rest. Okay. If we think someone else going 30 feet at some point would be better. As, uh, as, as you're all standing there, another arrow... <laughs> into the ground in front of you and you hear <clears throat> this, this war horn just sound off what do you guys do uh, I'm gonna tell everybody let's are you, are you too far away to actually shout anything <laughs> yeah like you you I mean well, you're you're within like screaming distance um Nylor's Augury already told us that that was a bad idea, so I yeah. don't even think... So, yeah. so it's either retreat or fight. Like, that's our only option, retreat or fight. I think we should take a page out right. of the playbook that happened last time we fought the orcs and hide in the trees and wait for an ambush. Where, did, did he say there were trees? There's a forest, yeah. there's a uh, forest beyond the field. Okay, then I, I second that idea. If, if they're gonna come out to us, that's super beneficial for us. There's no way we get in there. Yeah. At least as of right now. At, at like like if we could get them grouped up, or at least see how many we're dealing with. We have we have a lot of area damage, so if we could draw them out, I think that's beneficial. So yeah, I'm gonna back up and attempt to climb a tree. Yeah, Zash is backing up and getting into a tree. Hey, just to be clear, aside from anime. My other two pets have been in their orbs since, like, you know, nighttime or whatever. Okay. That's fine. During the thing. Yeah, I'll put mine back too. That's her name. That's so, Raphael's for short. And we're not supposed to use them in combat. Uh, you, so, so the way that companions work is they get a turn, they have their own turn in initiative if they are out, but you cannot, com they, they cannot attack. You can command them to, like, give you the help action or to dodge or, you know, disengage, um, or dash, but they cannot, they cannot attack. They are just like a familiar. Okay. If they do the help action, they can get attacked, though, right? If they, so they can if, get attacked regardless, right? They can get attacked regardless. Like, they, they become a creature on the battlefield. So that's that was going to be my next question. When we start combat, I need to know who has their companions out. I'll have mine out, but you said uh, if they're in danger, it will be recalled, right? So or the one guy said? If they drop to zero hit points, the Snatcher will recall them and you have to make a save you have to make a con save 
equal to, I think, 10 or half of the damage taken. Um, yeah. DC 10 or half the damage taken, whichever is higher, constitutes on a success, it's transported back into the crystal with one hit point. On a failure, it dies. Yeah, I'm not risking my baby. How does it get hit points? Uh, wait, say that again? Like, if they were at one hit point, how would it get more? Healing potion, same as you. Oh, okay. Rest That's the only way. Like okay. Long rest, okay. I guess, would do the trick? Long rest would do the trick to fully heal them. Uh-huh. Long rest. But they'd have to be out of the orb. Yeah. Well, wait. Because uh, in the orb, they're I'll... not suspended in. No. That's what I was trying to ask you long ago. <laughs> um. No, I'll say I'll say that within the orb, within the orb, a long rest would still gain it the same effects. Because I'm not gonna get so okay. I'm not gonna get so nitpicky with that because. Like, to force you guys okay. to keep them out for eight hours while you guys are resting, that's... Yeah. Okay, You're so... Okay. Sounds fair. So, so like, we're in... I, I, that's why I tested it before. I was like... Yeah. They're inside the orb and nothing... They're not healing or anything. They're just suspended. Okay, so, 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 so Zash and I are in the trees. What, the, what are the rest of you guys doing? Yeah. Uh, Definitely. I was just gonna Good say... Plan. <laughs> As they're moving into the trees, you guys hear a rumbling sound coming from this place. Does the tree actually provide coverage? Like actually hiding up in a tree? Uh, I will say that if you hide up in the tree, um, if you hide far enough in, uh, it will provide you coverage. Like you guys, you guys could basically, like you're far enough back that you could get into the trees and hide, and they would not see you from where they are. Now, if they move into the area and are looking around, it's very possible they, that they would spot you. Um, that would be based on a stealth check versus their perception. Okay, I'll go up in a tree. Okay. I also just want to add real quick, like, Zash would be keeping a lookout because he wants to see how many of them are coming out and coming after sure. us. Um, just because I have a feeling things are going to get bad, I'll go ahead and cast Path uh, Pass Without a Trace as well. Nice. <clears throat> just to be like ready to ambush or jump out you know attack someone but not really like hiding i just you know ready to fight i guess okay all right can i even can i get in a tree <laughs> can i even get in a tree <laughs> or should i just hide behind uh, one uh, <laughs> i was going to say um i was going to say those who are wanting to hide up in the tree Zash can just do it because he has a climbing speed. Seftis and Iluna, I will need you guys to make. Uh, well, I'll need everyone who wants I to climb the tree to make a uh, an athletics check. Um, this is an outlane ranger elf. She should have been climbing trees since she was like. Sure, you you do, but you also have your bad days, and Zash also has a climbing speed, so he is. He specifically has a thing that says you can always climb this far without fail. <laughs> I Luna does not, so I need you to roll me an athletics check. Um, Seftis and Albina, because you guys are... Because one is wearing heavy armor, the other is heavy armor. Um, I, I need you guys to roll with disadvantage. Take the load, right? Okay. Yes. So what's that mean? I just roll twice and pick a lowest, the lowest roll. roll. Yeah. yeah. Roll twice, pick the lowest. Oh man. Okay, it's a nine. I'm gonna fall out of the tree. You're not even gonna get in the tree. Uh, Smith, what did you <laughs> roll? I go to the bark Four. and it's gonna knock me over. I got a twelve. Yep. That seems so. Okay. I grab the bark and it all what just falls you? off. Uh, Nylor, what did you get? Sixteen. Sixteen. All right, just waiting on Seftis's second one. He rolled. He, he rolled a nine and a twelve. So he got a nine. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was. My apologies. That's okay. Um, yeah. So, so we'll we'll say that it's Zach just right up the tree, no issue whatsoever. Nylor, you and Iluna are able to make it up the trees. Uh, you know, without without much issue. Um, Septus, you're trying to like 
pull yourself up. Um, you know, you're you're very strong. You're able to pull yourself, but like the tree that you're grabbing, you're just breaking branches <laughs> off. Um, and Smith, you see, uh, you see Albina struggling to get up. So you're like the reason why you rolled so low is because you're actively like trying to like help her, and it's sort of hindering you as well. Um, Thanks, Smith. So. As this is happening, you guys hear the thundering footsteps, and from the uh, from the direction of the uh, let's see, I'm not gonna uh, yeah, one minute. About how far away are we? Uh. I will say that you guys are. Um, I'll say you're about two football fields. So you're about uh, 200 yards, about 600 feet. Okay. Up top. So, like I said, it, it says that it is a vast field. I, feel like you um, see I just sort of have you guys so on the map, just in general. It's right, Sunday, um, every day, every week, Sunday. But. I, I thought as you guys nope. are standing there yesterday was saturday today's sunday trolls and nope, it's every sunday orcs beginning to file out with weapons in hand how many how many do i see um from where you are standing you can see and i'm not going to put i'm not going to move every single one of them up there um, right. but you can see about a dozen orcs and at least two trolls, like, beginning to look around this area. Can I try, who's all in the trees? Everyone but me? Um, so right now, it is Septus, Albina, and Smith that are still on ground level. Um, so as you, I'm going to give you guys another chance to get up the tree, uh, another athletics check. Disadvantage, right? Disadvantage for Septus and Albina. Please be a good one. I got an eight. Oh. Uh, so, Septus, you are actually able to pull yourself up at this point. Um, the tree that you're on is sort of struggling a bit. Uh, basically, uh, what anyone else that was sort of looking over... Um, what, what, by the way, what have you decided to name the Clockwork Spider? Just so I can use a name. Uh, I haven't got a name yet. I'll get okay. one for next time. That's cool. Take, I mean, take your time. Just, yeah. Uh, so, so basically what this looks like with Septus, Septus is like pulling himself up. You see the little Clockwork Spider is sort of like ground his legs into the wood and is like trying to like help him pull him up with this like sticky wire that he shoots out of him. Um... Like, sort of wrapped around his hands, like, trying to lift him. Um, Smith and Albina, the two of you are still struggling. Um, or no, actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Albina, you, yeah, yeah, Albina, you are able to get yourself up, but in the process, Smith, what did you say you rolled? Eight. Yeah, so Smith, as in the process of Albina getting up, um, you stumble, like, you fall out of the tree. Okay, can I use Misty Step, seeing, seeing everyone else get up there uh, and the enemies approaching? Can I Misty Step up there? Yes, you can. And okay. so what we'll say is as as you pull yourself up, you can see that they're all that. You, so from where everybody is, you guys can see these, uh, these orcs and trolls, um, but they do not appear to be rushing down the hill. They're sort of like standing out there, and they saw... They, they could see the three of you that were struggling to get up, um, like, out there. But oh, they, they saw us? Oh, well, well I'll, say, I'll say that they saw at least you. They saw, like, you, you know, that, that, like, cloud of mist. It was, like, as they were looking down there, that was, that was the moment that they were already out there and looking. Um, but they do, do not have time to prepare a flame and arrow. I mean, you can light an arrow using Drew. Um, but you, the thing is, you do not see them advancing down the hill. You see them standing there, and they're just sort of like 
banging their their weapons on the rocks around the temple, just like oh, oh, and uh, Iluna, you can understand this. I think is the only person who speaks orc. Yeah. Um, they say, um, they say, try as you might, you will not succeed. And they're just like banging on their things in sheer defiance of your potential force. Are we aware that trolls um, take fire damage and not much else? Because they, didn't we just battle some with Well, there are different types, Ilor, so... I mean, there are different like types. generically trolls. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I did say trolls. I'm sorry. I meant to say ogres. My apologies. I meant to say ogres. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Uh, we big. Know anything about? Uh, if you want, you can you can roll to see if you can roll a history check to see if you do. Yes, I do apologize. This is a troll. Uh, this is what you have fought. This is an ogre. Smith, did you say something? I don't. I did not. I don't oh, think so. Okay. Uh, yeah, you... I, I must have just been hearing things. Yeah, I, Luna, you, you really don't know anything much beyond just the fact that they're, like, hulking, terrifying forces of evil. I rolled 11. Same thing? Um, pretty much the same thing. The only thing, uh, Smith, that you're sort of diff that that you know uh, like a slight bit more um is the fact that they will pretty much eat anything that they find like that's one of the things about ogres oftentimes when they like go through a raid or if they are somewhere oftentimes they lead a trail of just the things that they have devoured <laughs> do any of them have a pet um donkey or something no uh <laughs> none of them are shrek um, hey, can, Shrek was already killed by a group of three adventurers. Can I, like, lower my voice and, like, whisper? So, like, what do you guys want to do? Because, like, I, I don't know. Like, we have to get in what here. We got? we got two ogres and four, seven. No, you can see two ogres and about a dozen. Um, I just have that many shown there. I'll... I'll... Well, we need to get in there. I say we fight them. There's a lot of enemies Before that we could I'm see. I'm gonna with the wall of fire. Yeah, he can split them. I mean, I mean, should we just like cast from the trees? Would we get like a surprise round? Uh, I will say you you would not get a surprise round because they are then like ready to fight. What kind? What kind of weapons do they have? Are they all, like, melee weapons? I, we uh, know the one has a bow. Right. You can see that there is still the one with the bow that, that shot the two arrows. Um, the other ones, you see a mixture uh, that they mostly are wielding, like, great weapons, like, like brutish swords and axes, mm -hmm. as well as um, you can see that most of them, if not all of them, have javelins, like, in, in a pack on their back. The ogres, um, on the other hand, they're mostly carrying, like, these large clubs that have blades, like, attached to them. Right, okay. Um, I kind of want to do a wall of fire. You're saying we wouldn't get, like, a surprise round? Like, I couldn't open the battle with a wall of fire? Well, I mean, that would definitely do a lot of damage, but it's not going to be a surprise round because they are very well aware that there are enemies there, so they're... You're not getting like you know they're not surprised they're they're anticipating a fight right now. And we're like two hundred. Yeah, but they wouldn't be expecting from... a wall of fire. Well, no, they're not going to be expecting a wall of fire, which means that they're not like, like I, I would I would let that be if if this is what you guys decide that would be the opening action um, leading into it. <laughs> okay. And could you like show me what that would look like on here on the map? Mm -hmm. So. The thing to keep in mind with Wall of Fire, um, take a look here. So it is a 60 foot long, 20 foot high Wall of Fire that you can cast at a maximum of 100. You are about 600 feet away from these guys. You're about two foot wall field. So okay. you, 
you would have to get up like a because like it says there is a forested area there's a vast field and then there's the temple so it's about 600 feet leading up to this point I mean, this so we don't is why need to whisper exactly. We're we're pretty far that we don't need to whisper, right? No, yeah, like you guys, you guys could talk to one another, and they're not gonna be. I mean, they're also pretty if... stupid. What if I run like to the east some, like over? He... Oh, sorry, over here. It's still in the trees. I use the wand of pyrotechnics and try to draw them out some more, and like kind of away from us, and then maybe we can like hit them from the flank. I mean, that definitely sounds like a better plan of just like fighting them all one on one like that. Anyone else? Wait, what was your plan? Use a yeah, wand sorry. to do what? Distract them? Yeah, like I can run out to the east because, like, I can boot to speed and just be fast as shit. And use the wand of pyrotechnics to try to draw their attention, like, over here. And get them marching, like, forward and like forward and out this way. And then, like, maybe we can hit them from the flank where you guys are at. We can try that, yeah. I think All that's right. probably it, the best idea we're going to come up with. If we can draw um, them out, that'd be great. But I don't think they're going to, I don't think we're going to draw them out. Yeah, we can try. All right, I'll hop, I'll hop down and I'll sprint over to the east some, probably like 40 or so feet away from the party and activate my wand of pyrotechnics. So you're only like, you're only moving like 40 feet down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll go like 50 or 60 feet. Okay. Away from the um, party. Yeah, so you, uh, so, so what I'm gonna say <laughs> is, uh, since it is Right on the dot of eight o'clock. Uh, this is what we call it. Uh, we'll pick up right where we left off uh, next week, where you're casting uh, the pyrotechnics. Cool. Okay. Okie dokies. I will. I will actually like do up a map that is more to scale to show you guys like where it is. The more the field right. uh, than anything. Okay. okay. So, oh, also. Um, JJ, I did the math today, um, because I was, I, I wanted to see, like, how fast could, Z uh, could Zash actually move with the stuff that he has. So, 40 feet base movement equals out to 400 feet per minute. <laughs> with Dash, that's 800 feet per minute. Feline agility allowing you to double your movement every other, like, round, right. essentially. Um, I'm sort of equating that to being, like, another, instead of doubling it, it's it's having it. So, 1,200 feet per minute, roughly equating to about 13 and a half miles an hour. And keeping in mind that the boots of speed double your speed for 10 minutes, meaning... You could run four and a half miles in ten minutes at, while the boots are on. Okay. And if somebody, if somebody cast haste on you, you could run nine tenths of a mile in a minute. Because during that time, you would be going. Uh, I think. I think it was like. Uh, shit. Like forty-eight hundred. Feet per minute. Does anybody in the party have haste? Mm -mm. I don't even think uh, I could take haste. Haste is a wizard spell. Yeah, basically, if you had haste that you did, um, you would be traveling at 54 miles an hour. Oh my um, god. Yeah, wizards. So <laughs> Iggy, Iggy or Smith could take that. Um, oh, man. Here's here's the thing though. I will say this because I was I was thinking about this for a reason. Um, if it ever came down to it, where that was the where that was the deal, uh, you would have to roll a Constitution saving throw to not knock yourself out by the sheer force of <laughs> the wind <G> force. <laughs> hitting you. Yeah. 
you would you, you like your body would be like starting to be crushed. <laughs> okay. uh, so. This is crazy. Oh, yeah, man. so yeah, that's like just said, we'll, uh, What's up? I was just thinking, like, could you imagine if we drew, if we draw the orcs out here, and then somebody hates me, and I just run around them and go in and search? Well, and that was that was one of the reasons. I was like, oh, I was man. like, if somebody, like, if Zash used his boots of speed, he's he's literally moving at, like. I think if with your boots of speed, you're moving at 240 feet per set per round. So you could theoretically run across that field in less than three seconds, be in and out like probably faster than anyone would even realize. The downside comes into it where. <laughs> You have to, uh, she told you that the, the case is up in the bell tower. So you would have to, you'd have to find the way to get up there, get the chest and then get out. This is, this is one of the reasons why I was sitting trying to figure out fast. Yeah. I thought that, that I might be know, I don't remember that bell tower detail. Was that shared with everyone? Yeah. Pretty sure it, yeah, it, it was if, in the room. It was shared in the room when we were talking about yeah. it. Um, which, how, which the, room? When we talked to when her. When you were interrogating her lab? Yeah, yeah, when we made the deal. That's how we made the deal. I she told us where her stuff was. So the whole time. Yeah, because she, she, she basically said that it was, it was hidden up in the bell tower. Uh, pretty much where, like, you know, it was harder to get to specifically for that reason. I mean, like a bird. The thing, no, I, uh, that is, uh, I literally would not be able to lift it because of how heavy it is. Too heavy. Yeah, that's, yeah. it was a detail. It was Can, um, anime carry, she can't carry Zash, right? Oh. No. Okay. Yep. She can. She can basically. That just can throw him, right? Yeah. She can. She can basically carry like, like at most, I would say maybe like, like ten pounds, like like about the amount of of mage hand. You know, you agreed to like thirty pounds a while back. Did I? If you show me that, I'll agree to it. Oh. I don't. I just don't know. I, I would say. I, I would say as a bird. I'll have to look into it. I'll have to look into the like what what can an it was related to how much Okay, just just as she's it's looking that up. How much does Zash weigh now normally? Uh, I th Zash is in the range of like one sixty to two hundred. So theoretically, if I would cast Enlarge reduce on him that reduces him to one eighth of his current weight. Meaning, anime anime could just like it would shrink him, but anime could just fly up and drop him in the bell tower and be like, "Oh, here, I got it. Bye." How long, how long does it last for? One minute. How small does it like? Would I be able to even carry it's, the object? It says oh, probably not. It says the target size is halved in all dimensions, and its weight is reduced to one eighth of normal. This reduction decreases its size from one category, from medium to straight, for example. Until the spell ends, the target also has disadvantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. The weapons, or the target's weapons, also shrink to match its new size. While these weapons are reduced, the target's attack with them deal one d four less damage. Well, if I'm halved, then that puts me at, like, three foot. I can definitely carry a box. I mean, unless it's, like, some massive right. yeah, you would be You would basically be the size of Iggy. Right. But, but you the just... only thing is, how would I get back out? Because Same way. Because way anime. No, she... Because uh, you don't know how heavy the box is. True, true. Mm -hmm. You just throw it and jump and hope for the best. I'll revivify you. There you go. Shrink Cephas and throw him in there. Okay. Well, cannonball. <laughs> getting in there isn't the issue, it's getting out. It's oh, wait, I could just put all the shit in the bag of holding. 
and then just <gasps> okay that's we such a good idea <laughs> next week on the next episode of dragon ball z yes okay all right, all right guys i'll talk to you guys later all right have a good night guys all right good night yeah.